Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. Says many it's from Blimey. Hi, hey, Claire. Jesus. You said protect. <laughs> I kind of, you know, sometimes, sometimes I kind of, you know, indicate to Claire, hey, Claire, you know, let's jazz it up a bit. Pep up your voice. You know, project them all. So I said to Claire, are you ready to project, Claire? So Jesus Christ, Claire. It got too far. I'm sorry, did I? Okay, I'm gonna put headphones on ah. because that helps me be about a there we louder. Go. Welcome to just many a true nut. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator for what shall be, ladies and gentlemen, a serious historical something something diddly dope de dub. God, what are you um, gonna do? <laughs> this is going to be a serious. A serious military thing, a very, as you can see from the Da Vinci tank murdering these cavemen, because obviously cavemen wouldn't actually beat a Da Vinci tank. So, you know, it, it, it's all, it's all legit. Well, how many cavemen, though? It's, it's quite a few, but they are, they are, they are cavemen. They've only got clubs. Okay. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, I, I don't fancy oh, the chance. are they blue? Yes, because okay. they're on team. Everything, everything's color coded. You're in blue or red teams. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, okay, what we're going to Claire's just shuffling around a little bit here, so she can see a bit better. Hang on, just so yes, this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Is um, one, we're really late. Sorry, Claire was working on Patreon cast while I was whipping her um in an attempt to like you know encourage her. It, it just slowed her down further, which is weird. Um, it was somewhat distracting. Number two. Uh, hopefully, we, so yeah, yes, we're late, so this might be a bit of a short stream. Number two, if the stream just cuts off, it's because my computer's restarting, because it really wants to in restart to install updates, and I've told it not to do it till tomorrow, but, you know, sometimes, keep asking sometimes you? it's just going to happen anyway, so that, that possibly is going to happen. And number three... Okay, this one's for all of you. I didn't tell Claire about this, by the way. Oh, no. This is this is this is this is a new thing. So what we're going to do tonight is we're all gonna be on our best behaviour. Okay? We're not going to swear. We're not going to make crude sexual remarks. We're not going to do anything of that nature. Because I caught up with my mum today, and I mentioned in passing to her I was live streaming tonight. And she didn't really know what that was, so I explained it to her. Um, and she said, oh, that's nice. I've got the YouTube app on my television. I might just pop in and see what it's like. <laughs> so, <laughs> mother... Oh, hi. How are you? I hope I so hope mother a true well today. So mother a good a mother a true nerd. My I just I just accidentally my mind replaced true with good when I was talking about my mother. So there you go, mom. You're welcome. Yeah, um, I mean that's just accurate. John. Mother a true nerd might just be passing through, um, potentially tonight. So we're all going to be on our best behaviour in case mother a true nerds here. Aren't we, ladies and gentlemen? We're all going to be low. I don't know whether she, she might be on... If she's on the YouTube app on her TV, she might not be able to see the chat. Thank God she can't see you lot, the flipping riffraff. Um, but we need to behave too, Claire. Okay? We need to be sensible, mature adults. Okay? Yeah, so like normal, because I'm working now. Yes, exactly. So, so that's like normal. We're going to, we're going, so we're going to have to for do. For me, not so, for you. so rather than like, you know, our usual digressions about whatever nonsense sexual stuff I talk about that sets the chat off, we'll have to have digressions about how we're going to shop around on our utility bills to like see if we can save up to 7% on our electricity. Um, and other sensible things that prove to my mother I'm a sensible, responsible adult. So this is this is going to be. I don't know if she might make herself. If you happen to see my mum in the chat, let me know. <laughs> God only knows. I don't think she'll know how to do that, so it's fine. But my mother could be here. She, my mother is a lurker. Oh dear lord. Uh, okay, just in case you don't know. Um, what is this hey, if you're in the chat, um, if you're watching, yes. text me. Uh, I, Yes, that's true. She knows how to do that because she, yeah. she gets a better response from you because I just ignore my phone. Um, yeah. Okay, if you don't know how this game works, here's the quick, like, uh, really fast... Oh, that was quite loud. Okay, I might, might just quietly slightly lower the volume there. Uh, the way this game works is basically you have enemies. They're over here. And then you have a certain amount of money and you just get to, you know, knock down the enemies. And you get a huge number of, like, choices of units. This isn't many because it's the tutorial. So you just kind of say, okay, well, certain units are really expensive. Some units, not so much. 
in fact. So, you know, we could have some people with shields. They're good at blocking projectiles and generally just, you know, causing some trouble. You can have some people who toss stones. You can have people who toss spears. They're, you know, better at taking out individual units. Stone tossers are better at taking out, you know, clumped units and whatnot. You can just have some nice clubbers. And then you can have, like, you know, spellcasters, like bone mages, who do things like, oh, that would, that doesn't even remotely work. Okay, we'll just have one of them over there. And then we'll just get them going and you'll see the, you know, the shield lads will do an excellent job. And yep, these stones doing a good job there. And everyone's just, you know, getting in the way. And the little bone mage at the back is going to do a spell in a second. Uh, and when he does, uh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And he just wins instantly. Because he just does a massive little layer of effect. So you just need to... Are you texting my mother right now? No, I'm just <laughs> keeping an eye on my phone. I was, <laughs> I was just, you know... It occurred to me that possibly she never meant to watch and she just wanted to mess with you. I don't know. My mother's nicer than that. My mother's not like me. She's a nice person who wouldn't be a dick for no reason. Yeah, but to you... I don't think so. Her sense of humor is much more wholesome than that. I don't think she, she'd do that. So that's 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 the basic <laughs> of how it all fits together. All right. Oh, We're not going to do that. Because that there, that was just the tutorial. Okay. That's <laughs> I don't even know what that guy is. But he, he breathes ice breath. So I like him. What even is that guy? Oh, my God. I don't know what that guy is. <laughs> oh, dear. Chat, everybody behave. Um, oh, they're behaving all right. They're he... just sending messages to her. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> excellent. Uh, this is this is good. This is excellent. So what we're going to do is, rather than kind of continue on the adventure, I'm going to jump into the difficult stuff. All right, tonight. We're going to do the difficult stuff. So I'm jumping into the challenge. Because, yes, yeah, so these are all, like, um, tied to particular unit types. So I assume, like, to introduce new units as they were introduced into the game. But the challenge, uh, by the sounds of it, is uh, the toughest bet. So we're going to jump straight into uh, the challenge. All right, that's what we're going to do. So I think I might have done one of these already just to kind of test it, but I, I can't remember. So, okay, what have we got here? What have we got? So those are, those are, this is all Vikings. Generally, yes, the enemy tend to be all of one time period, but like teching up doesn't really like do anything. That doesn't help in the slightest. So that is a whole bunch of berserkers who will just leap forward and just slam into you. Those are headbutters who are basic lads. And then there's ice archers who like cast ice on you, which I think is like a slow effect. So, what we need to do... Claire's really keeping an eye on the phone, which is terrifying me. Absolutely mm -hmm. terrifying me. Uh, what we need to do is take out all of these guys. Now, none of them have got shields, uh, which means, to my mind, uh, yeah, uh, indirect fire is probably a good way to do it. Now, if I'm lucky, because these guys are going to charge forward, what I want is, like, say... Yeah, just some basic Roman laddies, uh, just to basically uh, take, the, uh, take the initial mm -hmm. charge. All right, their job is just to take that. Then what I'd like is... Actually, you know what? If I can keep these guys busy... These guys hit hard, but they've got, like, no health. So I'm going to go for a Zeus out on the flanks. I'm going to go for one Zeus who tosses lightning and it bounces. Then I just need a hard... Basically, just a big old pile of cover to keep the Zeus busy. Uh, just to make sure that he doesn't get attacked. So, on that occasion, if I could get something small and fast moving, who could just, like, disrupt all the archers for a bit, that'd be good. Uh, that'd be really good. Something small and fast moving. I mean, actually, you know what? Potion sellers are really effective at just, yeah, screwing up uh, crowds of units. So, one potion seller at the back, one potion seller at the back. They'll just basically poison clusters, and then halflings, the cheapest unit in the game. I'm just going to basically line up some halflings, and their only job is to die. Die that I might live so that Zeus can do his job. In fact, maybe a couple more over here just to protect the Zeus. So, yeah, just a few more over here. Put them out on the flanks. Just put them out on the flanks. It's going to be fine. Okay, this is this is the plan right here. So, the shields take the initial charge. They will die almost immediately afterwards, but it doesn't matter. The key, pa the key matter is uh, he's going to mess up all of these guys. Uh, you're going to mess up all of these guys, and Zeus is going to do the work. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, in they come. So, Zeus is... Uh-oh. Uh Zeus, is, Zeus is under fire. Zeus, if Zeus falls, this is it. it, it it's over. Zeus, I need to... Yep, Zeus is doing well. Zeus is, Zeus is, has got coverage. Zeus needs to take him out. The halfling's are doing a good job. Zeus is, uh, Zeus is being attacked though. Oh, Zeus is also being, oh, this is not working. Um, Zeus is now all on his own. And I think all his support is dead. I think it's only a matter of time until, unless Zeus can just 
Is Zeus about to just do this by himself? Zeus is being slowed significantly. Zeus, just toss one bolt. Zeus carries. Zeus is a badass. Oh, there's a reason he costs him. I love Zeus. I love googly-eyed Zeus. Everyone's got googly eyes in this game. I love him. I love him so much. There we go. All right. Nobody. Nobody was ever planning for me to win that one. Poor Zeus has got. He's been a bit shot. And Zeus, that's a sensitive area for Zeus. He uses that a lot. But, oh, no, no, mother. Mother, we're not, this, we don't do penis jokes. No penis jokes today. Okay, we're not doing, any, I don't know any other jokes. Oh, fuck, I mean, not, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, good lord. Dear oh, Billy O. Oh, this is. Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, my giddy aunt. My aunt is, is giddy. Um, <laughs> she's had a few glasses of champagne. <laughs> I. My mum won't mind that joke. My mum won't mind I that mean, joke I at all. I know, but I think the chat needs to know that your aunt is a bloody treasure. She's a treasure. That's no, treasure. <coughs> okay. Anyway, um, yes, the, the chat has many things to say. Excellent. Did, um, did you tell her about the original time we were going to be on? Uh, no, I didn't actually. But mm. I want you just to just, just you know, the X level of wholesome. I said, uh, well, the reason this, this came up was I was telling her what time we were probably streaming tonight. And uh, she was saying, well, I hope you're not going to be, you know, if you're not eating till afterwards, I hope you don't go on too late. And she, she was saying, like, oh, 9 p.m. is a bit late for dinner, isn't it? So, uh, for us, that's not actually that late. Uh, and sometimes we, we can go on to 11 p.m. Midnight was a bit bit rough the time we did it. it says, oh, my goodness, I'll be, you know what? When I'm, when I'm tucking myself up in bed, I'll think of you still streaming. And we've been mentioning earlier, she's got like a, she had like a TV in her bedroom that was installed when she moved into the place she is right now. Mm. Um, and she's never plugged it in. So, well, if you plug it in, you could literally watch us streaming as you're in bed. I'm and sorry, was, you brought this on yourself? Yes. So she said, oh, you know what? That's a lovely idea. I'm, I'm going to turn on that Aww. TV and turn on the YouTube app and I'm going to watch a few minutes of your stream as I'm going to bed. So whatever time my mum goes to bed, that's when she's going to be spending a few minutes here. And it's probably about 10 p.m. <laughs> she goes to bed early. Does my mum. She gets up very early too. Uh, so that's, that's going to be, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be good. Okay, so, yeah, we've got... This is the street map where there are two separate streets. And what we've got is pure infantry with shields versus some infantry, but with archers around the back. So, uh, my first thought was dragons. Because the <laughs> Dynasty Dragon is uh, cheap and will just annihilate these guys. But, over here, the problem with the dragon is, uh, even though it hits like an absolute truck and it blinks, which is adorable, it's only got a handful of people here. So, if the snake archers uh, fire some snakes at it, it might fall really easily. So, uh, I need something different over here. The remaining 1,400 uh, needs to go into uh, something else. I don't know what the monk does, by the way. But I need something that can take on and penetrate... Uh, basic cop flights. Now, I think the Vikings might actually be able to do a good uh, job here. Like, a handful of berserkers should just be able to cut straight through that. I'm not too worried about that in the slightest. I wouldn't mind yet, then just a handful of uh, chaff just to basically draw the fire. So, a whole bunch of uh, halflings. And then I want something a bit hard-hitting at the rear. I did something fast. Like a ninja. Ninjas are fast. One ninja at the rear. Okay, so I think the actual dragon will win this fight super easy. Then he can, like, loop round and assist. So I'm a bit worried by that, but I'm just going to see how this does. Because, yeah, these berserkers are... No, don't go over there! Okay, well, now he's isolated. But, yeah, he's very good at knocking down those guys and their shields. Uh, but now he's dead. Uh, but he's managed to wound them. And the, the dragon is... Can the dragon breathe through that? Yeah, the dragon's won the fight over here. He just he won that fight. No trouble. The problem is uh, the ninja is being now hit by snakes. And the halfling, the halfling's going to come in. The dragon's just, the dragon's just trying to fit around the corner. And there it goes. Now he's just like, hello. <laughs> I'm trying to help. And he did in the end. But that, yeah, the berserker didn't do his job dead. What happened to this berserker? Was, the berserker went off in this direction. Does anyone know where he went? Not sure the ninja helped much, to be perfectly honest. The, we just lost a berserker. He just, he just naffed off somewhere. And I don't know where he went. Marvellous. Everything is, everything's great. Everything's just the best thing in the world. And uh, what's this? Is that... I don't actually know what the bards do. One ludicrously hard to call out. Ah, handful of healers. Uh, 
and some basic lands. So, okay. No sh ah, one big shield on this guy. I need to bring him together. Right, while well, I think of some of you some options, how's everyone down in the chat, Claire? Yeah, everyone down in the chat is uh, pretty good. Uh, we have got, uh, let's see... We've got some uh, really, really, uh, we've got a few big donations that came in. So um, thank you so much to uh, Patty, uh, to Patty McCary, who gave us 100 Canadian dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much, Patty. Uh, and says, I missed last stream, but I finished in time today. I've been spending all my free time playing through Rome Turtle War Remastered. Oh. I hope, um, and yes, you guys are the best. Good shout, which good is shout. Lovely. Excellent thing. Uh, and Shoggy, uh, Shoggy seldom gave us fifty-five dollars, uh, and says, "Claire, don't mention the war. How much to get you both uh, to watch the John Stewart of Gondor final cut on stream?" Oh, uh, I don't think we. Can, I, 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 I'm pretty sure we can't. Like I've seen this. This is this is something you can look up yourself. Well, you've showed it to me, right? Yes. Uh, was that the final cut? I've showed you the first cut. Mm, uh, we can share amazing. it down in the chat, which is really cool. But the problem is, I can't really put actual footage from Lord of the Rings on the streams. That's a really good way of getting of, da of, of, of dabbling with potential content or copyright issues. Uh, <laughs> so it's a bit of a... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where, like, if you... Basically, someone's it, put together a really, like, really yeah. fun cut of my audio and uh, some footage from Lord of the Rings. It's really good. Um, if you send it to Claire, if you DM it to Claire, we will share it, uh, in the, uh, in the chat. We can't actually put it on stream because there might be some problems. Yeah, but we've seen, uh, well, you've seen both cuts and I've seen the first cut and it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's really well done. From, it's uh, very well done. Huge amount of effort has gone into it. It's the King. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's one of those things that's very clearly, like, transformative work and, you know, should be covered under, like, you know, yes. free fair use, but we can't take risks with YouTube because... Yeah, precisely. Yeah. yeah. Which is a bit of a problem. Mm. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting one, because, yeah, there's the big lad who's going to be healed up. The bards, I don't know what they bloody do. I assume they, like, buff, but yeah, there's no there's no explanation for what a unit does. You sort of have to, like, figure it out. And I you know I've seen Bard several times. I can't figure it out. Azus is... Wow, I was about to say, I was about to say you know, I'll just go for Azus with some cover. Can't afford Azus. This is a cheap one. Sometimes you've got very little money. And I like the small, the small skirmishers. Blunderbusses are not terrible for this price point. I mean, I could just... Okay, just out of interest. You should get a blunderbuss. They're really fun. I'm just going to go for one Huacha and then just a giant pile of... It's just halflings. Six halflings just to basically desperately stall for time. This is not going to work. But I love the Huacha. It's just basically a giant pile of arrows. And uh, that's, that's immediately killed. Um, that's killed the knight straight away. Now it's just a matter of can the Huacha load in time. Uh, because the... Um, oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. We need reload. And okay, now it's nothing but the bards. Can, can, can the bards actually do damage? I don't know if the bards can actually do. Not if they're full of arrows. I don't know what they do. They just sort of go around. Go, boop, boop. I, I assume they buff nearby units, but that didn't help them. Didn't help them much. And now the healer's got no one to heal. So it's it's existential horror and crisis is just. <laughs> He was a bad person and deserved it, mother. <laughs> uh, do you know about possessing units? No, I don't know about possessing units. Uh, so Sci-Fi Assume in chat says, Fun fact, once a battle starts, you can hover your cursor over a unit and press F to possess them. We're sad to move um, LMB, RMB space to attack. Have fun. Uh, uh, wait, sorry, what was the LMB, RMB? Oh, I don't know. I thought you'd know. Oh, just all of them are attacked. Oh, left mouse button, right mouse button. No, I know, I know what that stands for. I mean, what was the control for them? To attack. Oh, okay, they're all attack. Okay, then then I feel like I should finally live up to my... I, I, sh I shall become Zeus. Because I feel like Zeus is actually basically going to be able to walk this. The bard are just bait. They lure the enemies away. Oh, they're just bait, are they? Ah, I see. So they do the same thing as halflings. They just do it more... They just kind of actively draw the enemy. That makes sense. Uh, so I have a couple of halflings. Uh, 
uh, in here as well. Could we go for some farmers? Actually, uh, halflings, I'll get more of them. All I need is just a little bit of a little bit of distraction and one farmer at the front. Okay, so what do I need to do to, to get this, to, to, to do this? What was the control? Sorry. Uh, press F to possess them. Hover. F. Let's, oh, yay. Okay, now I just need to, to back away from these guys. Go. Then they go for the, uh oh. Go. Go. Oh, they're, they're nice and dead. Oh, so, it's, it's nice being Zeus. Okay. I'm, I'm beginning to appreciate the the value of the, uh oh. There's so oh. <laughs> Screw you. I'm Zeus. 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 Okay, I quite enjoy being Zeus. Yes, be being Zeus. Okay, didn't know that. That was this is this is excellent. This is this is this is quite the excellent thing right there. Two thousand and three. Oh, scarecrows. Scarecrows are just artillery. Now, is there anything hiding in the in the crops? What's the best answer to just a giant pile of artillery? Probably just rushing them. To be honest. Uh, yeah, just one unit. Yeah, just some basic stuff. Rushes. Just a line of. Uh, halflings rushes. Then the cheapest infantry. Uh, uh, you can use both buttons, John. Uh, both mass buttons to attack, I think, at the same time. Eh. Sorry, there's just... There's a bit of delay with people... No, uh, no, that, that makes perfect sense. Course. In fact, actually, I'm, I assume shields would work ah. for blocking artillery, right? Yes. So, yes, Sci-Fi Storm gave us some more precise um, right button fires with right hand, left fires with left hand. Zeus can dual wield lightning bolts. Oh, sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, uh, folks, if you are trying to give us a uh, some uh, advice in chat, if you could just write an actual sentence that says the whole thing, because if you say use both buttons, I don't quite know, you know, kind of... Uh -huh. Why and what for? Uh, and we are trying to do a number of things at the same time, so it's always a bit difficult. Okay. So. Just some shields, some halflings, and one jouster at the back whose only job is to... I didn't even know the scarecrow's... No, the jouster's getting too far ahead, and now the jouster's going to get immediately... I mean, he, he's just gone straight past, which is pretty impressive. The jouster, the jouster is... The jouster is... Wow. The jouster was the MVP. The I also like how both the Jouster and their horse have like googly eyes right there. Yeah, I mean. I mean that is that 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 was brutal. Oh, it is a person with wings. It's not in fact. It was a scare. It was a scarecrow. Okay. It's a scarecrow. I and was it, just gonna it, it say. It fires crows you're... at you, which is how scarecrows work. I was gonna say I hope uh, your mum's not watching you ram into a bird with a lance because she wouldn't approve. No, quite possible. What is that hiding in there? It's just hobbits. It's just two scythers. And a hobbit, 1,400 gold. So it's nothing but, yet yeah, it's nothing actually but uh, <laughs> lads who've got no shields. So as a result of that, I'm going to put a handful of protectors, uh, just some staggered protectors at the front. Mm -hmm. But basically, it's just going to be nothing but the cheapest range I can come up with. And I feel like actually, I really <laughs> like, I quite value the balloon archer, which I find hilarious for just basically causing distractions and problems. So one balloon oh archer. Goodness. And then I'm just going to basically... I'm just going for entirely nothing but actual archers. Because they're actually cheaper. No, they're not cheaper than um, spear throwers. But I think they, they've got a bit more range on them. I'm literally just going to go nothing but a line of archers. And we're just going to see how well this goes. I'm not convinced that's 120. Oh my goodness. 120. What can I get for 120? Can I get one spear thrower? Yeah, I can get one spear thrower. What was that, Claire? Um... Shoggy uh, gave us another hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Oh. Um, and says Claire pinged you the video in the creative channel in the Discord. Thank you. I'm just logging in now. I'd love to hear your live reactions to watching it, not restreaming it. If you have a chance during the end stream wind down. Uh, also, I've tweeted you pictures of uh, my seven week old puppy slash potato. Uh, I have seen these. The puppy is called Spud and is. So cute. Mm-hmm. Oh. Look at this cute. Look at this cutie pie. That that's just a head with a leg. It's a good angle. Oh, that's a good dog. That's a cute pup giving a good kiss. Oh, there was. There was a middle one. Another third one. Oh, that's an excellent. Oh. That's an excellent cute dog. He's so good. High levels cute dog. Okay, I'm gonna put these pictures in chat. 
And I'm going to go get the link in the Discord and put that in chat. So we've got that ready to go, yes. Okay, let's see how the archers do. Because the protectors are just designed to block up the scythers. And then, yeah, here we go. The balloon archer is just going to basically try and... Yeah, he's just going to lift this guy off the ground. And as a result of that, he's just going to be able to not attack anymore. And then more comes in. He, he shot one of his own friends. Scyther number one is dead. You're just not doing anything. Because archers... Archers, you need to shoot him. Oh, he's 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 got one balloon on him. Oh, this could be an AI victory. The archers are not doing the job. The hobbits, oh, the hobbits, are, the old hobbits have swarmed in. The balloons have given up. I think the archers are now go to well, unless you can, unless we can balloon all of these hobbits to death. But I do not believe we can. It aside from the fact that yeah, you're just getting stuck on the bridge, aren't you? I think the hobbits are coming in, coming in for. Oh, that's a good. It, it is he going to die? Don't look. Don't look at the um. Oh, oh. I mean, maybe if you can just... No, there's too many hobbits. There's too many hobbits. I mean, I feel like in some ways that could have worked had these guys not been completely uselessly positioned. And now I'm actually kind of curious. I'm kind of curious what happens if I literally do... How? What, what, what is nothing but balloon archers? How many balloon archers could I get out? If it was just like... Yeah, like four balloon archers. No, five. Screw it. Five balloon archers... And then nothing but halflings at the front door. Just basically a series of halflings just basically designed to just uh, stagger the enemy a bit. Okay, you guys just go forward. No, I'm going to let them do their own job here. All right, so you're just going to be right here. And go, 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 go. And yep, that's it. You're just going to keep them busy. Keep firing. Keep firing. And yep, they've been the scythers, lads. That they've been they've been taken out at this point. We just need to get rid of them. There's just It's nothing but balloons. And now they're just going to be lifted up. And I assume there is full damage. Oh, no, that guy's got... It's, the more balloons you get, the higher you go. Oh, no. Oh, that poor lad. And I think he, he's not coming... Can we do this? Can we balloon everyone to death? Just shoot them all with balloons! Balloon them! Balloon them some more! Balloons! More balloons! I know the side of the land's starting to get through! I think this is... I think, I think the full damage is going to do it! You just need to keep putting balloons in him! Put more balloons in him! He must have more balloons! Oh no! A hobbit's made it through! Just shoot him! He's... Okay, he's been shot. There's, oh no! The other side of the land is... The other side of the land survived! Just... Oh no! I feel like my balloon plan isn't working. Uh, there's... It, no, no, not even close. Both sides left survived. <laughs> okay, that, that plan didn't, didn't, didn't work. The, 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 they're a competent supporting unit. I, I just need something to deal with, with these lads. Like, uh, what would be the best option to deal with them? I mean, in all fairness, one potion seller could do a lot of damage. That could do a lot of distraction. Then, like, just one, one hobbit up front. Just a handful of archers. One more halfling. That's not archers. Those are stabby lads. I'm determined this is going to work. Determined this is going to work now. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, four balloon lads. All right, and I've got the potion seller who can, like, just keep them busy. How did you miss? Okay, go. Go. Toss. Toss the thing. I've got stabby lads. Potion man. Toss it. Oh, this is it. Yeah, the potions. The potions. They're all now dizzy. They're all now dizzy. Okay, go. Go. Go, potion man. Go, potion man. Potion man faster. Oh, potion man has, has potioned himself. Uh, this is this is a problem. We need. To, we just need to put... This has completely not worked. Oh, no. Uh, back off. Back off. Go. Go. I was attacked by the Scyther. Okay, uh, this is, this is, I'm, I'm just going to delete the, okay. But going back to the drawing board. Uh, hey, John. Yes. Would you consider, like, what's your feeling on backseat gaming in this game? Like, if people give you advice or, or No, no, we're, we're, we're up for that. We're, we're up, up for, for that. that. Okay, so apparently on every map, there are some hidden units. You need to root around for them. Hidden units? Mm -hmm. Uh, whilst you do that, uh, shout out to Vibav, who gave us £50. Oh, thank you very, very much uh, indeed. Thank you so, so much. And says, thanks to all three of you for being you while things are so bad back home in India. Here is a gift from my family to yours. Oh, thank you very, very much thank indeed. You so much. I hope things are not too bad for your family under the circumstances. Yeah. It, it sounds not, not fun over there. Yeah. Um, oh. Yes. You can have a dragon? Uh, you can have... There's a huge amount of stuff. Yes. Uh, uh, the the dragon would probably do the job. Oh, I okay. 
Axel Fack, uh, hi Axel Fack, I hope the pups are alright. Uh, Axel Fack says John should put out a dragon. Scythers are bug type and are weak to fire attack. I kind of, yeah, I, I kind of sometimes restrict myself a bit for dragon. I think dragons can be very overpowered. So I sometimes, I sometimes kind of slightly restrict myself a little bit. And I, I try and kind of, you know, mix things up. You know, actually, rather than just balloon lads. Yeah, but it's a dragon. They're fun. Also, somebody tweeted me a picture to show me that uh, YouTube chat definitely shows up on the YouTube TV app. Yay! Yeah. All right, screw it. Okay, just, just we're, we're using the musketeers. The musketeers are going to do this. All right, they're just going to go forward. Uh, and they don't just wander in that direction. Oh, that's it. That's the stuff. Musketeers uh, just need to reload. Uh, come on, keep them busy. Get in there. Just, just jump on him. Jump on them. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Come on, musketeers. Just musketeers, come on. Let's... Musketeers! That was not even remotely the right direction, musketeers. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Go. Three, two, one. Go! Okay, so the reload time's a little bit on the, the slow side over here. Oh, that's that's not some good work. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna coward away. We're just gonna coward away. We're cowarding away here. Three, two, one. Uh oh. There's so many hobbits! Claire, the scyther's coming! Uh, okay, so you can also press he you can also press F, sorry, whilst uh, in placement and planning mode to enter free camera, which will allow you to search for the secret units. There was apparently a hidden dragon somewhere in the bushes. Hidden dragon somewhere in the bushes. Don't see a hidden dragon somewhere in the bushes. Uh. Is this like in the crops? They mean, but that's just the, that's just the hobbits. The hobbits is. For here. Mm. That's a pie. See. I believe. Somebody said a wheelbarrow dragon. A wheelbarrow dragon. A wheelbarrow dragon, Claire. Mm-hmm. Excellent. A wheelbarrow dragon. A ho we any other letters you just want to randomly uh, put in positions they okay, shouldn't be. Can you uh Yeah? Yeah, what 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 can you turn to your left? Yes. That red thing? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. What are we supposed to do with him? Oh, that's so cool! Ah! Okay. I see. So that actually unlocks the secret units. I was... That, that is surprising. Wheelbarrow dragon is... Okay, well, we can literally afford one wheelbarrow dragon, who we just discovered. So we're just going to send him forward, and he's just going to... Ah, that's so cool. Biff... <laughs> Okay, I started saying it was cool before it fell over, but it's very cute. It's a very, very cute danger wheelbarrow noodle. Yes! Uh, oh no! Oh no, it fell over. I need I need to I need to get it I need to get it back up again. Like you can't stop wheelbarrows once they start going. You, there's there's no okay. I mean I feel like that's not how a wheelbarrow actually works, but Go! Okay, go, 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 go. I broke, I broke my wheel, I broke my wheelbarrow. Good work. I broke my, I feel like this that's is... That's some excellent driving, job. Try again, try again, it, it's that's a, fine. That's like me no! trying to play Super Mario. No, right? ow, my face. This is, this is fine, okay. Go, uh, uh, okay, go, 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 that was impressive. They just got that right, right there. This is. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Okay, straight at this guy. Straight at him. 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 Oh, straight through, straight through the hobbits. Straight through the hobbits. Straight through the hobbits. Straight through the hobbits. Now I just need to turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I turned around too fast. And now, now my dragon's broken. My dragon. I, I can't pick my dragon back up. Oh god. Okay. Maybe. Okay. We're gonna try and lure. I'm gonna lure him. I'm gonna lure him over to the edge. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna bait him. There's. There's an edge here. Yeah, you need to put some little yeah, like yeah, a training wheels on the side of your wheelbarrow. Uh, uh, okay. Get, get, get. Oh, you fell off the world. Dead. 
Wow, interesting death. <laughs> Okay, um, I, 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 I'm sense. If I, I'm not really sure why anyone would use the wheelbarrow dragon when there's because it's a dragon. Yeah, John. but Everybody there's just dragon. normal dragons. I'm going for the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is a good cheap unit, and shotguns are good units. Okay, I'm just gonna. In fact, these guys are really cheap. One flintlock, two. The wheelbarrow guys. dragon is possibly the worst unit in the game, says Oscar. Nice. Excellent. So Flintlock oh, Lad's just going to open dear. fire. Apparently there's a snow globe at the back of the building. And then just take them out. Take them out. Just... How are you so bad at taking these bastards? Okay, just back off. What have you back? Oh no, that was that was forward. Guys, let me through. Get me, let me through. Let me go. Ow! My face. This is, this is fine. Okay, go, go, go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ow! Oh. Nope, Diogenes is dead. No, unfortunately, it's uh, that was a very highbrow reference. Good job. See, that's 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 the good stuff right there. Well done. My mother would be impressed. I mean, I literally just spent my day listening to you talk about random stuff, including Diogenes, for three hours. So. Fine, I'm just sending in the normal dragon. Yay, the, the normal, dragon! The normal dragon will just win, and anything anyone that's left over will be poked to death. By Sarissa's. Because just w watch this bastard go. And dead. And actually against the... Oh no, the dragon's dead. What? The auto win button. Claire, the auto win button didn't win. What the shit is this shit? Now that... that, 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 that Swear jar. Oh shit. The, the, no, uh, oh, oh fiddlesticks. Uh, you know, Myra in chat said that... Uh... For the swear jar, you should donate to my coffee every time you swear. What, what, what do you think your wages are? <laughs> oh no, Sarissa, go Sarissa. If you could just take out the big lad, maybe you've got a... That was sort of working. Aside from the fact... Okay, so the dragon, yeah, against the heavier units just doesn't have the, uh, the hitting or the staying power. I see the problem. But... But, 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 okay, you know, okay, I'm gonna go over Viking, we're gonna do this, okay, I'm gonna send two Berserkers, Berserkers will be able to win, I'm gonna back them up with a, a healer, okay, maybe two healers, in fact, and then the halflings can be taken care of using a handful of villagers, and then on top of that, just some basic, yeah, two, two archers at the rear. Okay, this, this is going to work. This is now going to work. And what the shit was... Don't go over there! That's just where the hobbits are. Why would you... <laughs> that's not where your healers are. Don't do that on these guys. Okay. Hey, hey John. Yes. Uh, Jorg in the chat points out that this is a bridge battle, so you should put in a phalanx. It, it's true, but they wouldn't they wouldn't hold still. Okay, my archers are oh flip, my archers are doing okay. The healers yeah, are just Yeah, I have to say they don't look like very disciplined soldiers. No. Um the okay. The the problem there was the Vikings just said YOLO and just naffed off over away from the healers who were supposed to be healing them. Your one job was to go over here, not over bloody hell. This is this is this is fine. We're gonna I'm gonna put a catapult over here, okay? There's going to be a catapult, and then we're just going to box them up with waves of protectors, okay? So I'm just gonna go forward and catapult in a moment. We'll open um... fire and catapult. Dead. You see, that's number one dead. Now the protectors just need to keep this all busy. Just, just hold them in place. 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 And go. Okay, protectors are still alive. Come on, catapult. Come on, catapult. Oh no, one of the scythers is still alive. Come on, catapult. Come on, catapult. Come on, catapult. That wasn't the scyther, you dumb bastard. No. Oh, he's, he's going to win now. There's no chance he's, he's getting away with this now. He's going to... Oh, he was so close. If he just hit the fire button, he might have done it. A phalanx, a phalanx does work on this map, says Triss, if you please them back a bit. I guess if you were to, yeah, if you were to lay it like an absolute line of just these guys close up. I can only afford two if I'm buying the catapult, which I am. Well, uh, obviously. So Use obviously. a flag bearer to keep your units in place. Use a flag bearer. Thank you, Lex. Flag bearer. Flag 
The cannon is really good if uh, you want to use artillery. The cannon does seem pretty good, but I enjoy the old fan just the old fashioned catapult. I do not uh, know where right. that lad is. Okay, my phalanx is gonna walk together. Yeah, phalanx together. And just be literally pushed by the artillery, which is faster than the phalanx. Okay, that's number one dead right there. Now don't why are you going forward? Don't go forward! You phalanxy bastards. Go! He missed. If if the phalanx, if the catapult were to hit the scyther lad, uh-oh. I need you to fire now. Fire now! Hit the fire button! Hit it! He survived that? How? What are his bones made of? Bloody bastard took all three ranks of adamantium skeleton. Um, <laughs> This is fine. This is this is all absolutely a okay, okay. You know, I think we were actually doing pretty well with Operation Balloons. Okay, the the balloons were actually going pretty well. I'm gonna go for three balloon archers. All right, that still leaves me with 800 left over. All right, and that there gives me enough money for a couple of protectors up front. All right, and that gives me the cover I need for my farmers to come in. I'm gonna have one potion seller as well just like towards the front just not quite at the front but like a bit at the front and then that's enough money for like uh yeah two of them and a halfling okay in fact you know what one bard i'm gonna go for one bard to see how much the bard actually works for drawing their attention uh so someone in the chat was saying uh if you pair potion throwers with the bards yeah that makes sense yeah. don't miss okay you've hit that guy at least Ooh, you can blow up the bridge first so they can't reach you and then catapult them interesting okay now the Ooh. potion sellers are just going to start tossing in the potions now my balloon lads need to do some good work yeah okay everyone's now infected with the poison but there's no one left at this point but the bard and the balloon lads so now it's just a question as to whether balloon lads even can i just need to well he's dead i was about to say it just to back off a little bit mm -hmm. while this is happening you you just need to okay I just need to, I need to, I need to back off I need to back I need to back off back off back off back off okay go and then then I fell over because of poison then I dropped my friend oh clear. <laughs> go go two one two. oh no oh no 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 oh ow I'm not I'm a dead I think I'm, I think I'm a bit dead the bard is now just wandering off by himself I think everyone is. Okay, it would have helped if I hadn't shot my own friend. Yes. Okay, let's not restart for a minute because uh, we have a lot of different comments. Okay. Well, I need to. I need to completely rethink my strategy from, yeah, yeah, from yeah, the start. Yeah, yeah. So but, for that's like, fair. Yes. Yeah. Go, go, go. Okay. Number one, the book seven seven eight wanted you to try the long ship at some point. Mm -hmm. Many people in the chat uh, want uh, snacks. Snacks. The they snake. wanted to try the murder noodles. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, da, 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 um, uh, Aaron reminds us about the snow globe at the back of the house, which you should go and get. Snow globe at the back of house. The, that's not the back. Isn't it? Well, that looks like... Yeah, it is. That's the front door. That's the back. But then there's several houses, so... Snow globe. More like no globe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the high quality entertainment people uh, subscribe for, mother. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. Behind one of the buildings is what uh, people are saying. It's incredibly vague. Is it? Also, did you just hear a little drama llama me out? There's other buildings, John. Yeah, but they're not houses, are they? They're mills. Yeah, but somebody said building and somebody said house, so... Well, I don't see it, so I assume it's not there. Yeah, it can't. There's, there's no other reason. Anyway, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Look, um, Detective John on the case. Lol. Uh, okay, we have so, so, so many messages that have come in. Anyway, on the balcony says Hoop Snake. On the balcony. That, that's more specific. Yes. Th that's also not behind the house. Um. Mm -mm -mm. The other 
Okay, so uh, let's get into this a little bit because some people have been waiting a long time. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, Anna gave us five dollars and says Mass Effect time is getting so close. Ah! It is. I'm a little scared. Apparently, there's been like no review code for anybody, which I know everyone knows what Mass Effect's like, but they are changing stuff and they're not letting people see it. So that scares me just the littlest bit. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Parker who gave us uh, four dollars uh, and to um, <laughs> and to Game Deprived Dad who gave us a uh, hundred pounds. Thank you so oh, so thank much. You very very much indeed, Game Deprived uh, Dad. And Game Deprived Dad says, uh, "Good evening, John, Claire, Tabby, and especially John's mum." <laughs> uh, I hope you're all well rested after the move. Uh, at John's mum, we're so grateful to John and Claire. For the support that they give everyone, <clears throat> sorry, for the support they give everyone during this rough time, you must be very proud of your old Canterbridgean son. I, 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 I hopefully, who knows? Uh, <laughs> Wait, I just don't know what Canterbridgean means. Does it... Well, I assume it relates to uh, Cambridge, uh, making a Cambridge pun there. Yes, okay, just relating to Cambridge University, but it seemed weird to have Canta rather than Cam... Anyway, as in fine, Cam As fine, in Camtabriensis, which is the old name for Cambridge. You used to have the hence Tabs. Why didn't we call them Tabs? Tab Camtabriensis. Oh, that makes sense, yes. Yeah. Anyway... Go horse! I believe in you! I believe in the random wacky horse! It got stuck on a bridge! Stab them! Yeah, that's it! Get them! Get them before they get you! Then just lead them around in a circle. Go! Straight through! Straight through! One of them's down. Oh shit, the, the, the horse has got this! The horse has got this! In come the farmers! I think we've got it! The horse has got this! The horse is the winner! The horse is the ultimate champion! He's knocked down my own men! They dead. They- Ah! We actually won! Okay, so the game's not kidding when it says these are challenging. Uh, you can't just use the, the cheat code, which is the dragon. Uh, is it oh, now he can! Now you can. 2,500. Oh, 2,500. 2,000. I'm just going to send in a mammoth. Send in one mammoth. Back it up with half legs. I, I'm convinced this mammoth is just going to win. But I'm just going to send in some half legs. Go, mammoth. Go, mammoth. Go, mammoth. Go. Okay. It, it's hopefully killing the. It's hopefully going to kill the, um, the healers, right? And now do another charge, mammoth. Do another charge, mammoth. Mammoth. I'm mammoth, I believe in you. One of them's dead, but the mammoth is... Oh, no, one of them's not dead. The mammoth is... The mammoth. Oh, wait, got... did you change map without getting that snow globe? People were excited about that. Yes, I'm pretty sure I did, actually. Yes. Go, mammoth! Go, mammoth! Go, mammoth! Go, mammoth! Mammoth, stop just turning around! It's a good power play, but you don't actually... Oh, you almost knocked them over. You knocked them over the edge, mammoth! Go, on, mammoth! Mammoth! Okay, fine, I'll do it by cocking self. And... Go! And go! Genius. It just took me getting involved to win. It turns out I am a genius at mammoths. Marvellous. Oh! Oh, it's nothing but... Okay, we're back on this map. And we're going to look at the, the, the balconies. We're going to look at the balconies. It's a balcony. Apparently they were saying at the balcony of the mill. The second level of the mill, which is not behind a house, but you know. That's not even that's not behind a house in any meaningful way, no. Balcony. Look, I just want to you know, I just want to defend you that it wasn't your perception that just told you the wrong spot. Is there an other mill balcony apart from that? Around here. Around here. Up a bit more. Well, there's something. Yeah, there we go. Something here. It went flooply floop. Secret unlocked. Farmer Snow. Okay. All right. What is? I'm learning stuff about this game. I didn't know any of this was a thing. Uh, a game deprived dad says, "Oh no, sorry. Please don't apologize. I learned the cool thing about etymology. I'm very happy." Uh oh god. Well, it's not here. They're very excited. Maybe it's a map. I don't know what that is. Uh, Wait. So you can't get that unit? Well, it doesn't appear to... I can't find or a unit Or is it like that's another available. map? I, it might be a map. Does I, it tell you when there's something new? Yes, it said, but it, it didn't It didn't say what it was. It just said... Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, if you're... It's a new level, says somebody. Ah, there we go. 
But these are only units here. This is just units. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we can try uh, We can try that one next. Okay, I think I know how to deal with wheelbarrows, which is overwhelming firepower. Okay, we're just going to watch up, up in this business. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Then I just need enough fire. Then I just need enough protection to hold them in place. So one wave, then ah. one uh, bard should do the job. Yeah, yes. It's a snow version of this map. Yeah, that makes sense. And it has more secret units on it. Magnificent. Oh my goodness, people, you're being so generous <laughs> today. I'm. I don't have time to get to all of the regular super chats because people are doing these enormous ones. Uh, I mean, I will get to everybody. Don't you worry about that. But uh, shout out to Go Ghost, Ra Ghost Raider who uh, gave us $50. Oh, wow. Whoa! Did you just see that throw? That man just tossed a ball and it just destroyed the Huacha. That was very <laughs> impressive. But thank you very much. Uh, yes, indeed. Apparently not a level, but a sandbox map. Yeah. With hidden unit, Ghost Raider says, uh, I have been really loving the new room series. Have you considered doing a live stream or video where you do battles against other people online? Oh, God, I'd be terrible. I'm bad at actual competitive battles against humans where you can't, like, pause and cheese the poor AI. I'd be catastrophically bad. This is a terrible idea. I wonder how tough these guys are in the face of just a basic dragon. If I could just, especially if I could distract them with a potion seller up front and then just a handful of farmers just to back up, just to mop up afterwards. Because I think if I can just get a potion in and that's going to... The, the dragon is the dragon. The dra they just went straight under the dragon there. And now they're just going to... Well, a one. Not 100% sure who got the kill, but the, the, the dragon did, did its best. Okay, the dragon, I kind of thought the dragon was just the auto win button, but oh, oh, it's a mammoth. We have to, oh, I know how to defeat a mammoth. This is, this is the, okay, this is easy mode. <laughs> Mammoths are giant targets who have no shields, which means if you just build one Huacha, it's, it's, it's boned. Okay, en enjoy the boning that is about to occur. Hey, John, you know it's almost 10 p.m., right? My mother is probably not in favour of the murder of endangered species. No. No. Or are you talking about boning them? No. No. Hello. Hi, mother. Hope you sleep well. Uh, oh, no. This is dragon territory. Now this is dragons. Okay. One dragon will clear out all this chaff. Okay. Which means all I need to do really is have something hard-hitting enough to take out the, um, uh, the flibbly giblets. The, um, the side lads. So this is actually, no, this is fine. Okay, so I just need one dragon. All right, one one dynasty dragon. And I've got enough left over for overwhelming fire. I can also have one watcher <coughs> behind that point because why the flip not, quite frankly. And then I've still got a thousand. So I can start actually sending in some, oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> this, this is a walkover. This is an absolute walkover. Four berserkers, just for the sake of basically, in fact, you know, I'm going to put them right at the back. The berserkers are going to go right at the rear. Because I don't want them jumping in too fast. Because Watcher opens fire. Does a huge amount of damage already. The dragon is now just going to basically... It's going to knock down... Yeah, look at that. The dragon has melted. I mean, it's died. But it's its its melted all the rest of it. Now, at this point, the um, the berserkers are going to come in. Need the berserkers to just jump at what's left. They all died of poison. Uh, luckily, this... The Huacha's at the back there. The Huacha's still doing its job. So now there's nothing but potion sellers. There's one berserker still doing his business. The Huacha's got... Huacha debts it. Overwhelmed. I love the Huacha. The Huacha's just beautiful. And I apologise to anyone who I... Uh, whose career who I... I'm just mispronounced to the Huacha probably. I really apologise. Love the Huacha. It's just my favourite unit in the game. Alright, there we go. We got that. And this is... Oh! Oh! Oh, you poor, sad, about-to-be-dragoned bastards. Oh, this is... This is... This is sad. This is... This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Dragon. Dragon. Right, so you're cheap little infantry. Let's see how cheap infantry does against double dragon. And the answer is... Oh, look, they're dead. Drag dragons do very well in the city streets. Okay, now we're oh ho 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 ho. Oh, you poor oh that's that's tough actually. That's that's giant numbers of berserkers. 
Okay. I've got a plan. I don't know if that's Bone Mages can fire. But if Bone Mages can fire, like, get one, like, free hit off the moment the fight begins, then if I go for one... One Bard right now. Okay. Then I might be able to do a lot of... If I, you know, I'm kind of curious. I'm just going to go, like, I'm going to go mass... I'm just going to go mass Bone Mage. Because I'm kind of curious whether that might actually just do enough. It's screw it. Go, 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 go. It's, it, this is going to work. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And go! Come on, Bone Majors. Come on, Bone Majors. The Bone Majors are all dead. Okay. That didn't didn't work as well as... Okay, you know what we're going to do. They have to cut... They can't jump until such time. As they get close enough to me. So what we're going to do is we're going we're to murder them all. Before they even get the chance to jump. Okay. I'm going to have uh, three catapults at the rear. And those catapults are all going to fire. Okay. And you know I think we can also afford like one ancient ballista. That's why you want ancient ballista. Okay. Now this is this is this is going to be it. This this is this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be this is going to be the moment. This is going to be the moment right here. And fire. Fire. Oh! Oh, two, two are left, but they're not. They're not. They're not lads who are actually can do the jump. It's uh, it's basic lads. Come on, fire, fire, go, go, victory! All artillery, yes, scaven tactics for the win. I am a genius at this game. Boom! It it, it turns out I I am actually a genius in this. And oh my goodness, it's okay. It's a giant pile of chieftains. So I think. I think we know what we do to a giant pile of people who don't have shields. Technological superiority. And then I just keep them busy. with. I'm just going to do nothing but bards. <laughs> nothing but bards on the front line. Nothing, nothing but bards. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be just beautiful right here. Oh, there was a giant. Claire, there were way more of them than I suspected. <laughs> there, there was, in fact, a, a secondary tribe. There was another wave. There was another wave. But I kind of, I'm kind of wondering whether this is going to work anyway. Because there's now so many bards, they kind of can't get on the Thwatcha. Aside too many bards, too many bards. Aside from the fact they're leading them into the Thwatcha. Yeah, but can't not... you control the bards anyway? I can control one of them. Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, they can attack. It's just not very effective. Oh, blimey. That's some good stuff over there. Uh, Great shot, that. Yeah, there we go. And then they're, they're just coming, the bards just coming around. Just take. I think actually going like all bards and one bit of artillery is actually kind of good. Uh, which is terrifying. Now fire. And then all of you guys are dead. And now the bard just needs to basically just keep them busy. There's, no! They're not going for the bard! That's cheating! That's my only... Oh no! My only unit that can actually do anything productive! Okay, I'll admit, I was taken by surprise by the fact there was, um, you know, uh, there were actual, uh... More of them. There, there, there was a, a secondary tribe hiding in the cave. I'll admit, my all bard strategy was not based on that assumption. There were, there were issues with that. There's also just a scarecrow type thing up here, so that's fine. Okay, so... We now know what we're going up against, so now maybe I'll put together a better strategy. Clan! Uh, yes, indeed, we've got so many comments about the fact that you said uh, your mum might be watching the stream before Lol. bed. Uh, hello, hello, if you're watching, if you're watching, please text me to let me know. I would very <laughs> much like, we would both like to know if you're watching. Um, let's see, so... Uh, um, let's see. As I was saying, Myra uh, gave us two euros and says adding to the stream's swear jar. Thank uh, you. Which we have going on now. Uh, Hugh Miner gave us 50 Swedish krona and says, hello, mother, a true nerd. Uh, maybe also hi, Tubby and Claire. <laughs> Jameson gave us $20 and says, you shouldn't have said anything, John. This is like dangling a pork chop in front of ravenous wolves. <laughs> uh, have fun, Claire. And uh, Mother a True Nerd, your son is a treasure to this platform. Oh, some people are actually being nice and not dicks. Yes, swear jar John. Oh, yes. Dicks is quite soft. I'd, I'd, I'd probably say dicks. Well <laughs> Claire, we 
could have just passed by that one, but no, <laughs> you had to make a flaccid penis joke in front of my mother. What is my mother going to think? That you are making flaccid penis jokes. What <laughs> is my mother going think to think? I'm th French. <laughs> Good to say, Claire. <laughs> Sorry. You are not helping. <laughs> I feel like one potion slinger actually would be quite useful. Uh, uh, the front door anyway. over here. <laughs> Sir <laughs> Colin gave us three dollars and says, "Flip, mother or true nerd is coming. It's definitely gonna get weird." Crimson Hope uh, gave us uh, five dollars uh, and says, "My DNT got cancelled today, so I get to watch you guys. Yay! Uh, love you guys and hi to MIT and Mom if she joins." Uh, and Lisa uh, gave us 20 Swedish kroner and says, Hello, mummy, a true nerd. Your son makes great videos. Oh, everyone's being nice. Yes, they are. Excellent. So there you go. <laughs> I just shot my own potion sling on the back there. Friendly fire is a very real possibility in this game. Uh... Uh... <laughs> QT Funny says... Uh... Oh no, your mum will get the wrong impression that it's Claire and not John making these jokes. Um, it really is both of us. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, Maybe this doesn't quite have the firepower. See, a dragon would be not the worst thing in the world for clearing out the second. The dragon's not going to do that well against these lads. That's the problem. Some lads are basic lads with shields. Would do okay. I need I need cheap I need cheap cheap crowd control at the front door, which I actually feel like potentially. You know what? I'm gonna go over to ancient myself because I think stone works. But bone mages are pretty good. Protectors can be pretty good in that regard, and then I can afford two stones as well. This is this is of interest right here. So just toss the stones in. And it immediately hit my own protector. Yeah, all oh, the chieftains now dead. The chieftains just immediately drop dead. I don't have any more stones. Then we just lay down huge overwhelming firepower. The bone mage isn't quite... Just tossed a stone at my own bone mage. And then the bone mage is, is alive. Now, okay. All my own units are dead at this point. My stone lad isn't ready to go. There's only one clubber left. Stone him! Okay, go. Go. Just, just overwhelming firepower. There we flipping go. Lovely. Got it. Okay, we just needed a bit more. Yeah, the um the cheaper AoE of Bone Mage is actually really strong. I like, oh, blimey. It's a massive ass phalanx. It is. That's a really fun recreation of a phalanx right there. Uh, because they've got um, yeah, that's double line of Sarissa behind standard uh shield bearers. And only 1,300 gold, which is really not much. Uh, that's not much at all. So that's a lot of defense at the front. But I was just talking about the Bone Mages. The Bone Mages could do a good job clearing out some of this. But the the, the charge on them is quite slow. I need to have a think about this one. Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to Ryan, who uh, gave us $5 and says, I'm excited to watch Don kill wibbly things with other wibbly things. Here is some money. Love to Claire, John, and Tabby. The wibbly things will indeed go wibble, wibble, wibble. It's going to be great. Uh, yes, indeed, and uh, good news. Uh, good news from uh, Seki, who gave us uh, 10 euros uh, and says hello to both of you from Finland. I finally got myself a long term employment contract so Ooh. I can toss some cash your way. My degree in youth work is no longer useless. Yay! Also, hi, many a true mum. <laughs> I love how many variants of uh, of Mother a True Nerd we've we've got in. It's, it's, it's yeah, excellent. I mean a lot of them uh, are saying mom, and I'm trying to make sure to pronounce it the English way. <laughs> excellent, well done, well done. <laughs> but yeah, um, Actually, you know what? the see. pirates have got bomb throwers, and these guys are really clustered. Have we got like some some bomb throwers on the front, and then I kind of back them up with maybe just two, and I back them up with two bone majors. Uh, right there. And then I just had some clubbers coming in at the rear and one half lane. I don't know what this is good, really going to do. And I'm not sure like how good the bomb throwers really are. And Okay, the bomb throwers are really good for knocking them down. That's Oh, that works really well. 
Okay, so against the the, the tightly, uh, yeah, packed up uh, phalanxes, that worked beautifully Wow! Okay, I've got a new appreciation for bomb throwers. Against the right closely packed units, that does- I thought that just knocked him down, but no, that was a straight up kill. Okay, now that worked really effectively. And now we've got a large number of potion slingers with, oh, my, my favourite unit of all, the scythers. They were hard to take out last time. But I'm kind of feeling like, once again, the Ancient Era might just be able to work for me here. If I just get one stoner at the front. In fact, no, no, forget the stoner. Go for just a protector. And then, like, double bone mage behind him. That clears out these lands. Then I just need some stuff that can take out these at the back. And I feel like just straight up rushing them with ten farmers who are just going to be staggered all over the place. I think that can work. And give it a go. So it's going to go in. You you take you take the initial hit, and then uh, ah the bow mages fired too early. That was the problem. The bow mages fired way too early because he fired when only one of them was in range. If he'd waited for all of them to be in range, it might have done the job. Um, okay. If I just position things a bit differently, like if I just wait for them to be, yeah, if I put the bow mage more towards the back, just put him a little bit further back. Then I'm going to wait for them to be all clustered up here. Okay, so that's just going to distract all of him. I see them all to be... Oh, they can just take that! He just straight up took... Okay, the bow mage doesn't do enough damage to take out Scythers. Scythers have got too much health for that to happen. Okay. Back to the drawing board here. I need to think about this one a bit more clearly. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Nico, who gave us 10 euros and wants to know if you've ever heard... Uh, of a game called Rollers of the Realm. It's a cute little adventure game from 2015 where the map, uh, the maps are flip tables and the characters are different balls with different abilities. Interesting. So, it reminds me a bit of, yeah, you, um, what was it called? Y Yuko's, y Yoki, Yuko's, I think it was Yuko's Island Adventure, which was a pinball platformer. It sounds uh, somewhat similar to that uh, mm. in a way. And I, I quite enjoyed that. I thought it was it was very sweet and very cute. But different balls have different abilities. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a cross between Yuku's Island Adventure and like um, Rock of Ages. So that's I, I, I know nothing about it, but it sounds like it's a fun time. Yeah, it's uh, it's cute. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's looking like maybe the 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 graphics are not like, you know. I mean, I don't know. It looks. It's looking okay. Okay, a single Huacha could 100% take out those. The problem is, do you guys even do damage? I don't know whether Potion Slingers actually do damage or not. Like, I know you make them sick, but much of them actually does need damage. But, well, we got the win anyway. Whatever anyway, happened, I'll you... message you a, a link to the Steam page uh, yes. in your DMs so that you can look at it later. Now we're on a roll. Now we're on a flipping roll right here. All right, now we're kicking ass, taking names. and Oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Then again, I say this. The dragon... Uh, we'll see how the dragon does. I'm gonna, just going to put out the dragon with just a handful of lads up front. Just literally four halflings uh, just to draw the initial attention. I think the dragon could win this. The dragon... I, I, I hope the dragon can win this. And... Oh, uh, the dragon's kind of... Uh, come on, dragon. The dragon's not in a good position. The dragon's in a bad position. But I think now there's nothing... There's nothing but healers. With nothing but healers, it's fine. The dragon AI is messing up, but the hobbits have got it. Frodo's going to flip and shank that priest. Go on! Look at that! Look at that flipping just Superman punch right there. Frodo just went, no, not today, death. My job instead is to punch that guy's face off. Amazing. Love it. That, that, that's good. That's good stuff. Right now, there. John. Yes. You activated my trap card. Believe this is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Though Yu-Gi, I, 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 I was never into Yu-Gi-Oh. I was into Pokemon before Yu-Gi-Oh was Yu-Gi-Oh. Damn it! All right. So shout out to Tavizora Vaz Nerdmandy who always an excellent us, name. Always uh, an excellent name. Who gave us twenty uh, pounds uh, and says, "Mwahaha! I interrupt your stream to play one card face down and end my turn." Uh, and so I have to, um, with instructions that uh, at a random point when you say either tabby or flip, I should uh, say uh, about the trap card and make you say tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmandy three times fast. Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmandy, Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmandy, Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmandy. I know, but then I try to do it fast. 
Tabi Zora vs Nerdmundi, Tabi Zora vs Nerdmundi, Tabi Zora vs Nerdmundi. Claire's very good at repeating things fast. I'm, I'm terrible at it. I think it's because I have to put a little bit more effort, like, pronouncing it them right in the first place when I'm talking at normal speed. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just that I'm like... Okay, one, um, one berserker to draw the attention. Then, oh! Then giant piles of fire. Then we just toss bombs at, which clears out a huge number of them. Then the bone mages start mopping up. And now you all die. Come on, bomb throwers! Bomb throwers, come ah. on! Go, bomb throwers! This is interesting. Oh. Oh, what? Only one's alive. Only one's alive. Come on. Come on, catapult. Come on, catapult. Come on, catapult. Oh! Nice. You big damn hero. Oh, that was, that was, that was dicey, but we got it. Yes. Aww. Tabby Zora says I love you both and uh, worth every penny. Uh, and also uh, Bicep Monk, excellent username. Uh, it says, when you use the dragon, you spread out distraction units in front, which messes up the dragon. Instead, try placing a line of distraction that's leading to the dragon. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, if I just do double dragon here, that should easily mop up those guys and do a fair whack. Actually, the potion singers seem to disable the dragons pretty effectively. Um, in fact, you know, what? I've got so much firepower. I'm kind of curious if I just basically... I'm, I'm going to do a triple quatcher at the rear. <laughs> this is so dumb, but I'm curious what's what's going to happen. And... Oh, but overwhelming firepower! Oh, two of them made it through. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Uh, that's that. That that That's 100%. That, that's, that's it. Okay. We kind of need to take out the... We need to take... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for the cannons, actually. The cannon is cheap, and the cannon is fun. Uh, I can go for... Yes. Four, I can go for four cannons, four pirate cannons, and at the front, nothing but bards. Then, blood! Go, bards, go! 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 Blah! Okay, one, one wheelbarrow goes down, and if we can just take out the wheelbarrows, go! You've missed one of the wheelbarrows! Come on, cannons. Come on, cannons. Go, go, go! The bar However, there are still bards. Okay, the, um, at this point... The, yes, there's still one bard alive, which is distracting everybody. And now the cannons are just running up to desperately try and take out all of these bastards. Oh, the pirates are doing a good job. Go! Oh, yeah. That's, no, don't, don't go forward. Just take out the, okay, but the, the potion thing is, oh! And here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh! He is, he has been dabbed into next week. Okay, the, can, the cannon worked pretty well. The cannon actually seems to have a pretty fast reload. Uh, which is kind of good. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. R right there. That, that, that's flipping marvellous. And, oh no, this feels, this feels like, oh, there's a Zeus. They're, they're bringing a Zeus. Oh no. Zeus is scary. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to Brian who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I've been wanting to tell everybody how recently in Solaris, I captured a Scourge Queen and renamed her Gidget. Sadly, I was not optimized for fighting the Scourge and my neighbors were useless. So sadly, the Scourge nom nom the galaxy, poor Gidget included. Oh, it is I'm it sorry. is fun when you can get fl fun little fl unique flavor things like uh, capturing the uh, the Scourge. I'm not sure I've ever captured a Scourge Queen myself. Yeah, I, didn't realize I don't think you I've could done rename that. Rename them. You can. So I'm not sure if it's. Uh... I'm not sure if that's a custom name or if it's actually, if it's a fleet, I guess it's renaming the fleet it's part of. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, if it's part of its own unique fleet. I'm not sure whether you can actually, because like the, um, some of the creatures that come up from events, you can like, there's, it's a list of preset names out of a menu, so you can name it, but you've got to choose. Like everyone calls their, um, their space amoeba Bubbles, because it's the best name, and I can't even remember what the others are, because who cares? Because yeah, Bubbles, Bubbles is adorable. Bubbles yeah, is yeah, much better. Sense. So you, this this knight is going to be an idiot magnet who's going to draw the Zeus. All right. And that's going to give me time for my pirate bomb throwers, of which there are going to be three, to just basically put bombs on this phalanx. All right. And that's just going to kill them. That leaves me with another 2,000 yet to go. Okay. And that means there's going to be a dragon at the back who can just mop up large parts of this. Okay, he can just mop up large parts of that. That's fine. He can just murder his way down the line. But I'm going to put him slightly on this side, so he goes down the line a bit more. But I still need something 
to deal with the remainder. So that's like a thousand right there. Ancient is... I need to go for my own hoplite. Or I could go for some nice cheap... I need something a bit cheaper than that. Squires! Squires will do the job. I'm just going to have a line of squires over here. It's just going to be... It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be... It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And one sacrificial hobbit on the front line who's just going to draw the attention. Now, there's a lot of moving pieces going on here. But the... Zeus misses his first few, and Zeus gets knocked over. The dragon's doing beautiful work right over here. The bombers have done beautiful work. Now the dragon's just going to lay down some DPS, and oh, the dragon's done, but in come the bombs. And I think everything's dead apart from Zeus. And unfortunately, Zeus is just going to... There's, there's some stuff still alive in here, but I don't know what it... Oh, hang on, in comes the... Oh, no, I think we're about to bomb Zeus. Okay. We couldn't take down the Zeus. That worked pretty well, aside from the fact the dragon went down a bit too. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run that again, just as if it goes. I'm gonna keep a closer eye on the bombers on this occasion. So the, he tosses in the bombs, and that does a good job right there. The dragon is, the dragon is, is, is flop. The, the dragon's, the dragon's doing its own thing. The dragon's just doing its. I don't know what's going on there. I think the dragon might have been. Completely just destroyed by some bomb physics at that point. Okay, maybe the dragon is... Is the dragon doing that much value? I'm not sure the dragon's providing that much value. If I've got a thousand left over, I could just put a catapult at the rear. And then, yeah, but the catapult would have to be targeting Zeus to be gaining value. I could go for some really strong musketeers. I'm just going to go for a row of four musketeers at the rear. Okay, they've got some pretty good range on them. They do some good work over there straight away. The... That goes over there, and then we... Wait, 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 what happened to the bombs? The bombs... I feel like the bombs didn't do much on this... What happened to the bombs? What happened to the cocky bombs, you bastards? And the musketeers, uh, Zeus is just annihilating the chaff. Zeus is just annihilating the chaff there. Okay... I feel like you are too expensive just for a distraction. I feel like a better option, a cheaper distraction, would be a berserker. One berserker on the front line. That gives me enough money for an entire second wave of stuff. I need something that can hit hard enough to potentially take down a Zeus. Now, a king is 500. If I get rid of these guys as well, because I feel like they were not carrying their weight. That is enough firepower to take out all of the chaff. That means I now just need something that can take on a Zeus. And uh, could a medieval king maybe do that? A medieval king hits really hard. I'd like him up front. Yeah, we're going to go for a medieval king. And I'm going to send in a handful of, yeah, one healer. And then uh, one or two. And then a couple of, I'm going to send a couple of bards on either flank. Okay, so he just goes forward. That's going to draw some attention off that. In comes the bombs. The bombs are ah, the bombs are all put in the center, which is not ideal. Then the king's just going to basically go forward, but the healer's desperately going to try and keep the king alive. The bombers need to just take out that. Okay, so the bombers now just clear out the chaff. The king is still alive on the back of the healer. Most of the chaff is now gone, but now there's just a giant pile of bombers, and the king is... Oh, the king's... The king appears to be quite dead. Uh, which is unfortunate because Zeus is still alive and now Zeus is just basically <laughs> is just strutting over to the bard. The king did not have the survivability I was hoping for there. I need something that can hit hard enough to take out the Zeus. I'd... The bombers didn't do... Why do the, why do the bombers all go to the center? Because I feel like I wanted the bombers to go to the center and that's a bit of a better... It, it really depends on the bombers getting a good first spray in, to be honest. And I feel like, actually, you know what? If the bombers went down, if the if these guys... If the bombers got more hits in, yeah, if I just took out one more of them. One more bomber. I'm going gonna, gonna to spread the bombers out a little bit more. I'll spread them out a little bit more. And now that should mean a better spray of bombs. Okay, so go, 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 go. Ugh. No, that's not working. I think the... No, I think the... Actually, the problem is, the bards are actually drawing them away from each other. I want one bard in the center. I need one bard in the center to draw them into bomber range. Get rid of you. Okay. One more bomber. Okay. Right there. 
And then uh, Farmer of the Rick, because why not? Okay. Now, I'm hoping that's going to draw all of them together into one place. And now the bomb's going to do a much better... That did a much better job. Okay. Now we just need the king to be kept alive. And my units are doing an okay-ish job. We just need, yeah, the bombs to clear out the chaff. The chaff is now dead. The king is alive. And the king is desperately trying to get to Zeus. Oh, no, the chaff isn't entirely dead. The bombers are just continuing to toss in. The bombers are actually bombing my own king. Which is a bit of a problem, I'll admit. Oh, see, the king, the king's going in. The king is now attacking Zeus with a big ass sword. There are, there are more hoplites, but the, the, okay, Zeus is also being bombed. Zeus is being bombed. Go, king. Go, your majesty. Uh oh, his majesty's dead. No, toss more bombs. Take him out. Toss more bombs. You stupid dicks, just toss bombs. It's no. It was going so well as well. That was going quite well. I think that could theoretically work. I'm just going to run it again. Claire? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, messages. Uh, we've got a message from the meme chef, Gabraham Lincoln, <laughs> uh, who gave us $5 and says, it's my first donation ever since I finally can afford it. Chad better be on good behavior and not be sexy no matter how fun it is. Yeah, that's right. That's what we need to do. Uh, yes, and Alex gave us 10 Canadian dollars and says, Hello, John and Claire. I have seen this game before. It looks great and funny, but it will never top the Animal Football Championship. That was the Beast Battle Simulator. I love your game, oh, He got it! Beast, the Beast Battle Simulator World Cup is, I love that pair of videos so much. That was I, the greatest and I love your commentary, says Alex. It was wonderful. It was it was just the best. That it was, was lovely. Yeah. That was harsh, but we, we got him. We, we 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 ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got um, Zeus. Yes. Mike gave us five dollars and says, "John, this is your mother." I'm assuming that they pronounce it like that, you know. Yes, um, in in the style of Fallout Three, kill everything part one. Yes. As I as um, I, you may be familiar with off the top of your head, I don't know. Well, I think I'm more familiar. I I, with let, you I, I will read it. I will do it to the right. Claire's just knocking everything off. John, this is your mother. You've been a very good bad boy for killing that man with a hatcher, and I never loved you. Oh no, the rat roaches! She would never say that. <laughs> yes, that's the point. That was the joke in Kill Everything. Claire. Okay, fine, fine. That was. I get. I get that. Giant number of relatively inex. I don't know how well a dragon would work against all of this. Whether a dragon would work fine. If I just wanted... Okay, if I want to put, like, one bard. And then I put, like... What's going to be the best option for dealing with Valkyries as well? Interesting. Okay, I'm going to put just, like... I'm going to put double dragon down. Just to see if a double dragon could do okay against this massive line. And then that still leaves me with 1,500. Which makes me think Quatcher at the back. And I know I've not got any infantry right now. But eh, you don't need infantry, it's fine. And then just round over to here. Okay, so Valkyries are chargers. They're like berserkers. Okay, I see the issue here. I see the issue. They're not actually that tough in terms of health, but they're, yeah, they're chargey lads. Okay, I now know what we're dealing with. Now I know that I'm dealing with chargers. I've got a better view as to what I need, which is probably more watchers. Uh, and also the cheapest line of shields I can get. So nothing but protectors than watchers at the back. So, yeah, they just come in and then... Overwhelming firepower! And the Valkyrie's dead. And the Valkyrie's actually dead at this point. Reload. 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 Guys, open fire. Open fire. And that was the wrong unit to open fire. And if they'd open fired upwards, this might have... I probably wouldn't have worked, actually. Okay. I need... I need a more spread out line. But in theory, this could work. Okay, one, two, three. Then medieval. Bards. One bard behind. Then two bards over here at the rear, and then just some halflings just to provide further. That could work. That could work. That could work. So then they're all going to be right here. And then in comes a huge amount of Valkyrie. Uh, fire on the Valkyries. Uh, right over there. And then I need you guys to all fire. No, not at that. Not, not that. That's good. That's good. Ah, but they've all got shields. John, why are you fielding Quatchers? We've taken out all the Valkyries. But now there's a slight issue. That these guys all have shields and thus are Quatcher proof. Cocking genius, mate. Uh, okay, back to the drawing board. Clap! 
Okay, uh, people want you to look at the Western factions with the cowboy hats, lots of guns, and the Halloween faction, it has a new catapult. Uh, yes, the see. pumpkin launcher, it bounces, <clears throat> which I can see the advantage against these clustered lads, yes. Uh, and a uh, shout out to, uh, finally, Tessa, who gave us $50. Uh, thank you so, so much. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and says, hi guys, I'm home recovering from a surgery. Thanks for the entertainment. Can you give a shout out to all the trans kids over here in the States uh, that they are loved? Another state just passed laws against them. Yes, all of that is rather shitty, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, everybody, uh, trans, non-binary, you're valid. We love you. Yeah. They, in not, the US and all over. Let's not forget the boys and the aces, everyone. Well, this is just because this was specifically about gender. True, you know, true, but, true, true. Uh, Fair enough. Yes, indeed. I mean, everybody, uh, everybody in the queer community, we love you. Uh, and those, you know, <laughs> I'm an actual feminist, so I think people should be able to choose what they do with their bodies. That's the central tenet of feminism. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, trans rights. Trans rights. Indeed. Let's, okay, so we're going to go for... There's a couple of protect... Yeah, there's a couple of basic shoe lads at the front who are just going to draw them all together. The pumpkin's going to lay down a huge amount of fire. A couple of bomb throwers are going to do the same. That should clear out all the chat for do some damage to these guys. Then a couple of basic lads at the back will just basically, hopefully, mop up. So everyone goes together. In comes the pumpkins. Boom. But... What the shit was that? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What on earth are you guys firing at? Go. Yeah. That was. You're all cancelled. How dare you recommend the pumpkin launcher? That was a terrible recommendation. Just, just dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Actually, I'm wondering whether a Zeus might be a competent idea. We just put a Zeus over at the the flanks over over here. Yeah, Zeus goes to zap, zap. Zeus is missing a lot, but if you could just basically get, I mean, Zeus should be able to do some good work here. If Zeus can just have some space around him. Because Zeus, yeah, dual wields lightning very effectively. Yeah, Zeus has now just got some space. Now Zeus can just... Oh, but he's being rushed by the Valkyries. The problem is there's too many Valkyries who... Well, then again. No, he's not. Oh, Zeus might be about to just solo this. Oh, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Oh, Zeus solos it. It's a Zeus win. Oh, Zeus is... I love Zeus. Zeus is so expensive, but I love him. I love him so much. And now... Well, that's a 500. Now there's a... Uh, yeah, one of the ballistas right there. Uh, don't forget to look for secret units, John. I, I I didn't do that. You're right. I think one dragon here would do this very effectively. And then if I just sent a giant pile of halflings up the back street, like just over here, if they just go up this street, then that would... No, don't go up that street. Okay, you're going to clear out all of that. That's fine. Then the dragon's going to be immediately killed. But those guys are on fire, which presumably is bad for their health, right? Yeah, the, the crew's doing its best. The crew's doing its best. Okay, I need, to, I need to find a hobbit. I need to find a hobbit so I can go on like a super awesome secret. The hobbits are doing a bad, bad job here. Hobbits are doing a bad job. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a ho I'm becoming... I'm going to... This, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Please, please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Okay, it's fine. Everything's under control. Don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, guys. Don't shoot me. No! They shot me. Uh, okay, now this is fine. I'm. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have. We're going to have one. We're going to have one bard over here to to draw the attention away from the dragon. And then I'm going to I'm going to have like an elite super unit who's going to be amazing, and I'm going to control that unit. I'm going to go on like a super awesome mega mission. Okay, it's going to be it's going to be the best thing ever. Uh with who's cool who's who's the unit that's cool enough to be me any unit's really cool enough to be me vampires seem cool vampire uh, vampires have, uh, have had their day perhaps a gunslinger too expensive unfortunately uh could have, you know what's a good solid viking unit Good sort of Viking unit. I could just be a nice brawler. I'm just going to be a brawler over here. We might have another one over there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so then we're just going to begin and then F. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Yeah, okay, so now I'm assuming those guys are going to do their job really well over here. 
All right. And I'm just going to get over here. Right. And I can just do a big swing and a big shield bash. And then, uh-oh. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay, this, 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 this is fine. This is fine. No, 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 no. Go. Get him. Okay, so I, I was involved in that victory. But, like, it, it's only because they were trying to kill me that the AI killed them, if you think about it. So, really, the victory was mine. Right, I'm going to take a moment to look around this map for things. Because I think I see something over there that might be relevant. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, DB Explorer who gave us $5 and says, You should have invited your mum for Mother's Day. Is Mother's Day a thing in the UK? Yes, but it's not at the same time as America. It's much later in the year, I believe. We yeah, a, I mean... Oh, we just had American Mother's Day. I think British Mother's Day isn't for a while yet. Yeah, um... Also, I mean, I don't know whether we're able to invite, uh... Mama True Nerd for Mother's Day or not will really depend on uh, what kind of vaccinations we've all had. That's true. Uh, do you know if she's had her second shot? I think she's had her second now, yes. That's so exciting. I believe she has. I think my parents have both had, have had both of theirs now. I think they were telling me when I last spoke to them that they were, they had their second one scheduled. But I've only had my first one and John's not had any. Because mm -hmm. uh, he's too healthy. <laughs> Bloody unhealthy people hogging all the vaccine. Okay. Wow. Okay. 3,600. Yeah. No shield aside from the knights at the front door. But, like, the Huachi can generally... Oh, can just... Mother's... The British Mother's Day is back in March. Amazing! I'm pretty sure I sent flowers at the time. Yeah, you're actually pretty good at that. Yes. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> John, you prat. People are saying in chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dear. I knew it was a different time. I was going to the top of my head which different time. Yeah, but I mean, you know, this is the kind of thing. We have reminders for that. Exactly. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Two punches um, at the back. Should be able to clear that out. Then I just need something relatively fast moving. Just people to... want you to use Vlad. Is Vlad over in, I assume, in... Viking? Vampires? Or spooky? spooky? He's not there either. No, he'll be in secret. Of course he will. Uh, 1,800. He's quite expensive. I'd need to give up one of my... Oh, it's just because you've just unlocked him. Mm-hmm. He's... Looks like he's, he's a bloke who's just got a big stabby stick. Which is, you know, not the worst thing in the world. And then maybe we'll just have... Yeah, we'll back him up with just some, some hobbits. Let's just see how he does. I'm just going to see how he does by himself. So everyone's just going to go forward. The watch is going forward ahead of everything else, which is a terrible idea. Then lays down a huge amount of fire. And knocks out one catapult straight away. And then a hobbit, uh, yeah, eats the uh, eats some of that. You guys all go down straight away. Vlad is trying to take on a knight by himself. And oh, blimey. He, okay, he literally impales everybody. Yeah, because he's Vlad the Impaler, John. Yeah, story checks out. But he's, he, <laughs> he just carries around a big old stick to do it. And he, he, he doesn't care. I feel like if you're a vampire... Well, I guess he's not actually a vampire. That's just the original Stab. story. I was just going to say maybe don't carry a giant stake everywhere, but... Yeah, there we go. Vlad Vlad did pretty well there. I think mm -hmm. possibly he's good at, like, maybe... Uh, oh, it's another big... Uh, it's another big kind of, yeah, cluster of enemies. With a handful of snake arches at the rear. If I could just pull them into a single mass, I could just nuke them. And it would not be difficult. Because there's really not much firepower there. Aside from some snakes at the rear. So. A very simple line. A very simple line of protectors. Just to basically act as. Yeah I'm just going to. I'm just going to create a matching phalanx of protectors. At the front line. Alright this is going to be. So we're sending tribal era stuff. Just basically in. And that's going to mean front line meets front line. All right, and they're going to be able to stand up for a minute. And that's going to give time for my bomb thrower second line to get into position. Okay, so I'm going to say five of them right there. Okay, not a huge amount, just a bit, enough. And then what's going to be left at the end just needs to be mopped up. So that's, yeah, for that I'm just going to send in 
a bunch of, I'd say farmers are pretty effective, to be honest. Maybe I'll have like, yeah, I'll have like a potion slinger on either flank. And then I'll just have like a wave of farmers just to basically move in and uh, yeah, just get them at the end. Let's see how this does because we might need to change the timings of where the, the bombers are standing. Uh, and then that just goes over to there. Okay, the, the snakes did admittedly better than I was uh, expecting, in a way. Yeah, the, the snake art just did pretty well just killing all of my lads. Uh, the frontline chaff is mostly falling apart. The snakes are doing some good work. I was just, I was literally just thinking, why is my artillery not doing Because I didn't bring any artillery. Okay. This, this line did not do the job. That's, that's over a thousand expenditure and it didn't really do anything. The better option would just be to send forward just a handful of them. And then I think actually, you know what? I'm going to scratch some of these glands, just like some of them. And I'm going to have a Zeus. Okay. I'm going to have a Zeus right there. These guys are going to clear out some of the chaff. And it's going to leave enough space for a Zeus to win. A Zeus on the flank is going to be able to win. So yeah, the snakes are going to be fired at this guy. And then they're just going to... Oh, they're going to real mess with my bombers. But actually, you know what? The bomb's doing great work over there. And now there's enough farmers around over to here. And now Zeus can pretty much just solo this. Uh, and yeah, with the other guys providing cover. There are still bombers. Uh, people are trying to fire snakes at Zeus. But as soon as... Oh, Zeus is just zapping the snakes. Because Zeus just doesn't give a shit. And now Zeus is going to... My mother's going to be very confused when she just tunes in for a few minutes of this. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes. Quite quite possible I'm going to be very confused. That, that, I love Zeus. Zeus is one of my favourite units. That's just, it's it's just the good stuff. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, if your mother's just tuned in, she will also be, uh, possibly, possibly, uh, confused that, uh, somebody has just paid us 10 Australian dollars. Somebody, Maxwell. Sorry, Maxwell's just paid us 10 Australian dollars to make me say poop. Just, I think, in case you put put, put it here. in the swear jar. Probably that's the swear jar. So I apologize. Uh, Essidus, meanwhile, gave us five dollars and says, uh, "Carefully arrayed army of boop, boop, boop." I am beat. I was triple army array boops there. I can confirm. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Dragon Trapper gave us ten dollars and said, "Epic wheelbarrow bonus." And we've also got a couple of stickers from Ryan, the rabbit ram, Curus rambling regent, who gave us $20. Uh, and Kelly, who gave us $3. So those were super cute. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and we've also got uh, a couple of uh, you know, uh, comments and questions about other games. Uh-huh. Uh, smells like Tim Spirit, your favorite username. Uh, gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, uh, you've got me playing West of Loathing, so I say thank you, but my bank account is unhappy. Anyway, glad to be tuned in today. Have fun. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. West of Loathing is a fun time. It's yes, an interesting, indeed. weird little game. Uh, yes, and Charlene uh, gave us $15 and says, Hello, John and Claire. After you started your KOTOR playthrough, I started my own as it is one of my husband's favourite games. Uh, we enjoy spending time together watching the games that you play. I'm also going through the backlog of your channel watching what catches my fancy. So thank you for the endless hours of entertainment. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. That's so sweet. I'm so glad that people are like watching together. Yes, you know, that's super with cute. Families and stuff. It that is, is super so cute. cute. Okay, that's not doing enough damage. I need more. When these guys land, I need something that can destroy them instantly. Oh my God. I need I need firepower. Um. Um, s someone just gave us $300. Did they? Yes. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I d yes. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, is it Relief or Relight? Uh, who uh, says, I figured I'd use this opportunity 
to add more games to your need to playlist. I know you've played Star Wars Empire at War. However, did you know there is a mod on the Steam Workshop that makes uh, that honestly dated game uh, the best sci-fi RTS on the market today? The mod is called Awakening of the Rebellion. Yeah, I honestly feel like at some point they're going to remaster Empire at War. Like, I, it's, it's an interesting little flawed diamond and I'd be amazed if they didn't. At some point, I think they will. Uh, so I'd be very, very surprised. Okay, I'd be really, really surprised if they didn't actually remaster that at some point or other. I'm kind of vaguely thinking that's going to happen. So, uh, I was thinking, like, maybe, like, I kind of, I don't know why, I, I kind of had the idea that we're going to do it this year. I kind of vaguely had in mind it might be a this year series, but then it, it sort of didn't happen. So, <laughs> you know, um... that's life. Yes. <laughs> uh, dear, oh dear. Um, well, they say, I think they say Ra life? Ra life? Mm -hmm. I mean, they indicated where the break is in the word, but I'm, I'm, yeah, sometimes I struggle with, like, reading how people whose first language is English, like, reading the way that Let's they... Let's check out this head. So if they all land describe here... Describe sounds. Fire. That doesn't, that doesn't take out anybody. That just doesn't take out anybody, so that doesn't work. I need them to die. I need something that hits these guys hard enough that they die, like, pretty much instantaneously. How well would a Zeus do? Just out of interest, how well would a Zeus do if I just ran nothing but a giant pile of interference with everything else? We just, we get them, we get them down, and then Zeus just basically tries to take them out. And then Zeus just... Zeus is just get wow. A Zeus gets swarmed. There's there's too much firepower for a Zeus. That I I don't have I don't have the money for a Zeus on this occasion. I feel like artillery in theory could work, but those Valkyries that's a pain. Arrow fire is not going to do enough damage. I need something that can a dragon could clear out oh. all of this if I could just. Actually, I wonder how well a double dragon just laying down the fire on a single sacrificial center would work if i just went from double dragon right here all right and then we just had the sacrificial halfling at the front door and then it's a pure line of yeah just a handful of protectors behind and then maybe just a bard or two just right down the center if they all land there and then okay the dragons are in a bat the dragons are not in the right position because the the Valkyries go past, so we need we need the dragons further back. Okay, that's fine. Dragons close together at the rear. So the Valkyries are going to come in, and then they're going to be. We got them. Flip. Okay, the dra yeah the dragons did have the fire. I wasn't sure what the dragons would have the penetrating firepower to take out all of that, but actually that that worked out really nicely. That worked out really well. It would work much less well here because there's too many archers at the back. So, okay. Time to have a think about this. Clan! Uh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> uh, How are you doing, by the way? Because I suspect not well. Well, you are, like, not letting me speak. So. Well, yeah, that's why I suspected you weren't doing well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Um, shout out to the book 778 who gave us $5 and thank you so much for your patience. Uh, this one was from a while back. Uh, they say, hi, John and Claire. I hope you're both well. How is Tabby today? I'm loving the Resident Evil Village series. Oh, that was a long time ago. I saw that one came, come in. Right. Yes. Okay. I see. Well, what... you know, I try to read them in an order that makes sense. And yes. then if something big comes Yes. In, you know, I mean, it's hard because we don't want people to think that if they donate, you know, like five or ten, we don't take it seriously because yes. it is you know anything is any donation is hugely appreciated but then when you've got something that's like 50 or 100 uh you you know it's so much it's so mind-boggling that people donate that we yes. do need to prioritize it a little bit um <clears throat> John, how is Tabby today? Do you have a story to tell the chat about Tabby today? As many of you know, Tabby is an indoor cat. Though in some ways that is by necessity. She was an indoor cat by choice when we inherited her. However, 
she also, like, you know, then spent a long time in a flat where she had no access to the outdoors. Where we've just moved, we do have access to the outdoors. Now, Tabby has not been paying a huge amount of attention to the outdoors, but today, I noticed that Tabby was by the window looking out at the garden. So, I went up and I opened the door. And I stepped outside. I did a big exaggerated look. You can step out of this door. And and I just stood there. So she could see me. So she knew it was safe outside. And she decided not to go outside. But she didn't run away either. She sniffed the air. She kind of leaned out. She sniffed. And when he says run away, he means run away back inside the house. Because yes. she's scared of everything. Exactly. Like, we were not worried that she was going to run away She was going, freedom! <laughs> Finally free from this endless parade of free scritches and salmon. Um, so, yes, it was. Uh, she, she took a few sniffs. And then she very gently and slowly walked away. Okay. This 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 was uh she was she was a very good girl. She was I know a that very it sounds girl. like we're saying she didn't do anything, but the fact that she stood by like the glass door that we have to the garden and was actually interested is great because it yeah. shows that she was curious. And like the fact that she didn't immediately run away yeah. is like back inside the house because of being scared. Like that's yeah. a lot of progress for her. Okay, so I've noticed that if I just lay a single half leg here, the moment this fight begins, the Berserkers and the Valkyries are all jump on it. Meaning there's going to be a... So we're basically going to basically set up the world's biggest kill box over here. Everything that's got any splash damage on it, we are going to start using. And just for fun, I'm going to see how... Yeah, uh, say I'm just going to set up like... Uh, let's see how Gunslingers do. Let's see what gunslingers are. So go and. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Gunslingers fire up in the air and then lay down a spray of fire, which is quite okay. So in which case, just let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. That's back up to 1,300, which is a lot already. Okay, let's, let's let's experiment with some of these units here. And then we'll go for one Deadeye, who I assume just basically one shots a unit. And then I have just a couple of miners to support him. Because I suspect they're going to come in. Then these guys are all going to go up here. And then that's going to basically kill... It almost worked, but it, they didn't quite get enough firepower in fast enough. So the Deadeye is then just going to... Okay, this isn't working. But I feel like if I ran that again, if I just ran that again, if the if these guys could just get the hits in fast enough. Yeah, it's because they're targeting over there. Why did that work better last time? And is it because they're going for the ones closest to them? Why is that causing a problem? And why are you not? Okay, maybe you need to be slightly further back. Just a little bit further back here. Uh, I want to say that I can't afford you. Uh, it's a tiny bit further back here. Okay, so if they all come in right over here, and now that's yeah, that's a better that's a better position. But then they 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 desperately start moving as fast as possible. Okay, and then okay, so that spray pattern's really interesting. That's useful for laying down a large amount of fire. I'm wondering if maybe I further reduce this and I go for some cheaper supporting units, like say. Go for the potion slingers, which will stop them from moving on that fast. Okay. And then let's have a Luxion. What does a candle head do? What does a vampire do? Alright, so they'll come in. And that's a lot of damage right there. That's a big amount of damage. The miner's now moving in. And now I've got my I've got my dead my dead eye, who I assume is just taking out units once a time. The miner's doing his best, but there's still oh there was still a berserker and everything else. I'm just going to watch these units. What do the candle heads do? He uh, becomes a bat. And then gets behind them. Okay, so he's an interesting distraction unit. I see. The candle head just basically teleports behind them. And... The, no, that's not the candle head. That was, that was the vampire. The candle head... What are you doing, buddy? I don't know, but wait. This is going really, really weirdly well today. What's, what's happening today? Why is this happening? And you guys are all... Wait, why did this work? It was the exact same thing we did last time. But it's actually worked... 
Welcome to the world of randomness. This is this is interesting. This is this is this is just interesting right here. So, okay, what did the candlehead do precisely? Because it seemed to do. I'm screw it. Nothing but candleheads. Send in, uh, send in, a, <clears throat> send in a, a line of candleheads. We're gonna watch what they do. Right, and uh, whilst we do that, shout out to a bottle of Signa who gave us 55 Norwegian krona. Excellent krona. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I've got my exam on educa educational games. Sorry. I've got my exam on educational games on Friday. What completely unrelated game should I try to sleep to slip into <laughs> conversation? What game should I try to sleep with? Uh, Resident Evil 8 because of sexy, sexy mommy. Uh, oh, whoa, well, no. That's definitely <laughs> wow! the wrong thing to have said. That was definitely the wrong thing to have said <laughs> today. Uh, uh, there is a, um, just in just in case, you know, just in case uh, you're actually listening, uh, John's mum, uh, there is a very tall vampire lady that the internet is obsessed with in that game, uh, so that's who we meant. Okay, so they're, they're the Fuss Road out lads. They just knock you backwards. Okay. Okay, so, so they should mention, uh, they should mention Resident Evil Village in their educational games exam on Friday. Please don't tank your exam on the basis of a joke. Uh-huh. Um, like, please actually do your exam. On this side, there might be a good opportunity wow. for a dragon to do some good wow. work. Wow. Yeah, the chat is impressed with you. Uh-huh. Hello, mother. Uh, over here, the, yeah, there's a good opportunity for... A dragon, I think, could just do a lot of good work over here. On this side, I kind of like the idea of just pushing them back forever. Well, I need something that can deal with the archers. Like, a archer at the back would be... Claire's really obsessed with checking her phone. I was actually gonna do something fully unrelated. I see. Uh, no, I was looking for a picture of Tabby that I could give people. I like these guys. The candlelights are interesting. So, they, yeah, they just, it's like, they just, they push the enemy back. So just go, 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 toss, 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 toss. And yeah, the dragon's doing a good job, uh, just basically knocking... Yeah, yeah, the dragon actually being supported by candleheads is interesting. Because it actually means that, um, yeah, at that point, they can't... Nothing can get up to the dragon to kill it, because the candleheads are just knocking them back with the Fuss Rodin ability. That's actually really interesting. Okay... I'm liking the candleheads. The candleheads are fun. And then the bard just decides he's going to um, toss himself off a cliff. Well done. Uh, well done, lad. Right there. Uh, so, okay. This is this is very much of interest. And then we've also got... Skeleton warriors seem very cheap. So I'm just going to put them head-to-head -head against protectors. And I'm also going to have a massive line of skeleton archers. Because generally, archers are very good at dealing with... Uh, Mammoths, because you know they're massive targets. So we're just going to see how well these guys do one on ones. So just take them out, and then the archers are going to. Okay, so the, the mammoth is the mammoth is doing a pretty competent job, all things considered. Also, is there more in the cave? Uh, there are some stone throwers, which is a bit of a problem. I'm not convinced wow. the the skeleton arch is doing a spectacular job there. Yes. Uh, shout out to Boopington the second who gave us five pounds. And says, um, hey, John and Claire, it was my 16th birthday yesterday, which means I've been watching for five years now. Take this as a small thank you. Mm -hmm. That's not possible because you can't watch YouTube when you're under 13. It's like physically impossible. Exactly. It's against the law. Also, these... let's not think about 11 year olds watching this. Yeah. Probably exposed to worse. They go to secondary school. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Dear oh, flipping dear. Okay, 5,900. Now, I'm going to be honest, a, I think a Huacha would do a really good job nailing at the Mammoths. The problem is, uh, the Huacha won't inherently target them first. So, I mean, we could use, yeah, the Gunslinger is interesting. Let's check out this Cactus, because people, because I'm assuming the Cactus is a unit which, yeah, does... If melee units go up to it, they take damage. Yes, okay, the cactus runs up and then does a big spike of cactus spikes. And appears to have some level of health because, oh, it sticks to things. So it's, it's, it's desperately sticking to the, 
to the mammoths, but it's not doing enough damage. So what I really need is I need something that's strong enough to take out these lads immediately. The problem is the mammoth will do a charge straight away to them. Actually, I'm now I'm now curious. If I just had nothing but ranks of balloon archers, can you get enough balloons on a mammoth to lift it off? Probably not, but now I'm curious. So I do it. Go, 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 go. Okay, so they've now all lifted off. That's all absolutely fine. So they're all going to be in trouble momentarily. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. So lay, lay, lay it down. Lay it down. Get the balloons on the mammoth. They're coming down. They're all coming down right now. They're all coming down. And can, can we can we lift up a mammoth? I want you to lift up the mammoth. Lift him up. Lift him up. Come on, I believe in you. When I, I don't believe in you, you're all dying. Okay, that was that was that was always that, that was never going. That was always going to be a hard sell. It's always going to be a bit of a hard sell. The Huacha is an excellent hard counter to mammoths. The problem is getting them to target it. I need something with 2,900. A Zeus. A Zeus would do a good job at just clearing out the chaff over here. Then I just need... I'm just going to have my own line of protectors at the front. So just like that. Just like that. Just to basically keep them busy. Okay. And then... I could have one bone mage at the rest. That's probably not the most efficient thing in the world. Then we just have a, a couple of bards. Just a handful of bards in the center. So that just goes over there. Zeus is going to go into that. And now that mammoth immediately goes down in the face of the Huacha. So that Huacha is in good shape for the time being. And now, yeah, you're going to go down straight away. So now the Huachas are both clear. And the Zeus is still a lot. Okay, now the Zeus, can, the Zeus can handle it. The Zeus at this point can just clear the rest of it. And there's also huge amounts of Huacha fire from the rear. Job done. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try experimenting with new units here. But I feel like, yeah, when it's mammoths, Huachas are just so good. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's think about fast-moving units, potentially. Uh, in particular, captains and pirate queens. I can't even afford both of them. What does a captain do? Well, let's go for a one pirate queen. Pirate queen is melee. And then is going straight for some lovely, lovely slappy, slappy, slap. It's just taking on giant piles of troops. And then did a lovely jump there. Excellent drama. In fact, he's, she's just cleared this out. If she can just kill that guy and then just dive out the way before these guys hit her. She couldn't dive out of the way before these guys hit her. There we go. Okay. So the Pirate Queen is just basically a skilled melee combatant. The Captain, I mean, you can see he's got a pistol. Immediately just gets completely... Okay. He just got just taken out right there. So that's not going to fly. Okay. I need something to draw the attention of that. That's fine. All right, we'll just have one, one halfling at the front door, which logically, if he just starts coming forward, will draw all of that attention straight away. That's fine. So therefore, I now know I'm safe. All right, anything I draw up in the second line will not have to deal with this for the time being. And then I could manually take something round the back to deal with all of that. So I'm not too worried about that in the slightest. Uh, in which case... In which case, in which case, in which case. A handful of bomb throwers might work pretty well. Let's just check out vampires. Vampires appear to... I think they just teleport around the back of something. Yeah, they, they go forward. They have a little bit of a lunge. And then... Oh, they make, they make slurping noises. That's hilarious. And now they're just going to go forward and... Take them down, take them down. They make such... They make little slurping noises. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. They're such nerds. They wear little bat bow ties. I love them. Okay, so they've got a little... I don't know if they've like they're invincible. During, oh, I know there's more here. Don't you even pretend there's not something hidden in this cave. So, okay, there's a couple of... Uh, yes, yeah, spear lads up top. What's hiding in the cave? You may as well just bloody tell me. Actually, nothing. Okay, it's just the spear lads. So that's... Suspiciously not much. I assume I've only got... Oh, I've only got 2,900. Okay, need to have a think about this. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Sorry, folks. I tried to share a Tammy picture, but uh, apparently the up... The, I didn't realise that it, it wouldn't share. Just give me a minute. 
I'm going to figure it out once I've read a few super chats, but yes. I should do that because we are behind. Yes. We are very behind. Um, shout out to uh, Peppy who gave us uh, five euros and says, I haven't met any friends uh, in uh, Real Space since uh, September. I am alone, feeling lonely again tonight. Uh, you keep my spirits up and you're a bit of a replacement for social contact, so thank you. Oh, excellent. Thank you so, so well, much. And I hope you feel better so soon. Glad that we can help in whatever way that we can. Uh, and uh, it is just it is just such a lovely community. Yes. Uh, it's just, ugh. Okay, I'm loving the gunslinger. That's got some range on it. That's that's no that that's a new exciting thing to me. And there's the longship, by the way, where just a bunch of people just toss a boat at you, and the boat itself has googly eyes and blinks, which is excellent. Seven thousand five hundred, a couple of uh, flibbly flibbits. Are they yarls at the back there? Yeah, that's a yarl. Okay, yarls. A couple of Valkyries at the back. A lot of money I've got to spend here. And how many berserkers are there? There's a second line of berserkers. If I just, okay, if I just put one lad at the at the very front, is that close enough the Berserkers immediately go, whoop, yes it is, okay. All the Berserkers go in, the Valkyries appear to try and do the same. Which suggests to me that there might be an overwhelming dumb amount of firepower that could be laid down here. So if I just, I'm going to lay down three potion sellers. Alright, and then I'm just going to lay down... I'm just going to lay down because ah, some of these guys do have shields. But the guys who are charging forward uh, do not. So as as I I can't resist. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't resist a four huacha line here. I'm just going to see what happens as a result of this. Ah. Uh, that, admittedly, some stuff survived that, which is quite impressive. They didn't, they didn't survive that one. The longboat has not been thrown yet. The longboat has not been thrown. The longboat, the the, this, this, the longboat has now been thrown, and then some people have come out. Okay, they they they've made it through. They have successfully made it. Uh, this 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 the, that 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 was not the right plan. No, I mean, admittedly, okay, it, it might have worked better. Okay, so it's, it's, it's go 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 go. Like I feel like that was a stronger opening. But even if you do that, some of the Valkyries live, and then they get taken out, and then all four of them are still. If you guys could just reload, please reload, please reload, and that is no. There's just too many mad lads with shields. So this this is this is a dumb this is a dumb plan. Back to the drawing board, clap. Uh, muskets penetrate shields. Gunslinger bullets bypass them. Says Sci Firestorm. Thank you so so much. Yeah, I feel like actually I am moving over to thinking more about the gunslinger because the gunslinger. It appears to be doing a similar job to the Hoatcha, but one bypasses shields and two costs like almost a third. So That's nice. if I just basically lay down a like the same amount like over here, like they'll just do this and then I'll just go and that's a ridiculous dumb amount of dead stuff. Right, and what was thinking more. More. More more gunslingers. Okay, and go and <laughs> If I just laid them back in ranks, I'm wondering if maybe that the answer now is just to, to lay them in ranks. Okay, so just let them there, and then like a second tier right there, and then a final tier right there, and then everyone's favorite, six halflings at the rear to, to do. So they all come in there, and then ludicrous amounts of fire rain down on them, and then they're all dead. And now the now the hobbits are just really going to try it out, oh, but the yarls the yarls got a bit too much health for that. The yarls can just tank that. That's the problem, right there. The yarls can just tank it. So I'm going to need to. It's, it, we can't go all that, but I think there is that. There's a place for them. There's definitely a place for them. I just need to think about this a bit more carefully. Clap. Uh, yes. Sorry, folks. I've just uh. Here is a picture of a very good tabby uh, sunning her tummy in the sunshine. Oh, and good So girl. there you go. That's for, uh, that's just, you know, a few people were saying that uh, they didn't have a great day. And uh, when I don't have a great day, what I go and do is just, you know, pet the tibby tabs. Yes. So I thought, you know, uh, I thought I would share with all of you. 
Um, now let's see. We've got uh, we've got loads more uh, comments. Uh -huh. uh, Billy gave us ten pounds and says, "I finally get to catch a stream. I love all your content, and I'm losing afternoons to pass streams." I hope all of you are loving the new house. It's it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's very nice to be able to have those separate spaces. Yes. Uh, to work in and you know, it, it's also nice to have like the kind of like, we go upstairs in the evening and then like work is done and we can just relax. Uh, it's been very good and I think, I don't know if uh, Laura's here today who was telling me uh, that uh, her. Favorite best working ADHD hack of ever was uh, just to ban her phone from her bedroom. Yeah. Um, I've been doing that. Yeah. And it's 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 great. It's really really great. Um, so I've like not used my phone um, in the bedroom like at yeah. all. Um, just it's not been upstairs really. Yeah. Um, and it's been fantastic. Oh. Okay. So there you go. If we just lay down, if I was to lay down, yeah, just some more gunslingers. Yeah, we just have uh, gunslingers, uh, bomb throwers, uh, and also, uh, yeah, potion things. Basically, I just want to lay down the world's biggest kill box right here and take out all the berserkers and the Valkyries in like one, one go. And we go for you, and we go for you, and then on the medieval, we go for a. Medieval, yes, uh, the peasanty McJibbles. Uh, then we go for one potion slinger. And now I've got that gives me enough space to have a good solid secondary line, which could be, say, hoplites, which are a competent, good unit, especially if we back them up with, say, a handful of medieval healers. So we just put them in right there, and then we just also have, yeah, just a further line of. Just some little peasants with pitchforks at the side. So everyone comes in right over there. And now bombs and everything and huge amounts of firepower. And there's just a ridiculous kill box in the middle. And now everyone gets healed up. But I've got my own infantry trying to come in. Bombs are being tossed right over there. My hoplites are doing their best. But I think the Yarls have just got... Yeah, I think I need a better answer to the Yarls. I think right now I don't have a good enough answer to the Yarls. And also the Ice Archers are a really big problem because they're just causing huge amounts of trouble. There's like one bard left at the back. Now that's a massive failure. Though we get a good early win right here because everyone just jumps in and then there's a huge amount of firepower right over there. The berserkers get straight back up again and it's just not, it's not enough. And the secondary line isn't strong enough to fight what survives. In particular, the Jarl when he goes into his berserker frenzy is just devastating. This, that needs a complete rethink. The kill box here at the center is not strong enough to win enough of the fight. The Yarl just annihilates. Need to rethink this. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Jamie, who uh, gave us £20. And says thank you for all your ex Excellency, John and Claire. Oh, excellent. Uh, I've been watching and enjoying your content since the original Rome Total War series, so I thought I'd spend some of my first paycheck as thanks. Keep up the great work. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so and much. Fritz gave us 20. You have to let me do more than one, John, at a time. I was saying thanks. That's a thing I'm allowed to do. Oh, I just thought you were interrupting me because I'm used to that. Uh, shout out to Fritz, who gave us 20 Australian dollars. Um... And says, hey, John and Claire, I've been watching your videos for a few years now. Gleeful murderous John is so fun to watch. Have some money for treats for Tabby. Tabby deserves all the treats. Yeah, Tabby deserves all the treats, but only very specific treats. Dubs, I tried yeah, to yeah. get her a really, really nice treat for her adoption birthday. And <laughs> she was just like, nah. nah. I'm feeling like a triple Zeus flank is the right way to go. I know that sounds dumb as anything, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and cover it with a giant number of Romans whose only job is to just distract, and then behind them we're just going to have bards, like three bards right there, 
And then the, the triple Zeus will just go, go. The triple Zeus just completely missed. But if the triple Zeus can just have a bit of space between themselves. And now the Zeus can just take out the archers. Uh, yeah. And now it's just a question of can triple Zeus. The Valkyries are causing trouble, but they're dying. But now the Jarls are coming in. I think I need a little bit more of a strong front line to just provide the triple Zeus's enough time. Then again, a Zeus is still alive over there. There is still one Zeus here. But now it's taking on three Jarls, which is too much. And now, yeah. Okay. That was the best we've done so far. A triple flanking Zeus is not a terrible idea. Maybe I'll reduce that to a double flanking Zeus and thus have more of a solid front line. And what we'll have instead is just one basic halfling to draw that initial charge. So there's none of that. The double Zeus is going to be over here anyway. Hay balers are... You know what? Those cactuses, they could take a beating. Cactuses could really take a beating. So we're going to have a handful of cactuses right over here. Okay, going to have, like, yeah, maybe, like, and then, uh, yeah, squires. Double line of squires behind them. Okay, all the squires. Okay, and then you just go in over here. Zeus just starts laying down huge amounts of fire. All right, the cactus is going to start just doing a big uh, spiky blobs. I need the Zeus to take out the Valkyries. Someone needs to kill the Valkyries because the Valkyries cause real trouble for the Zeus. And then lay down some fire over there. The Zeus is struggling to hit the fast-moving targets. That's your problem. That's your problem right there. You're... Are you now dead at this point? It's the Jarls. I just can't take out the Jarls. The Jarls then just... Eventually, everything goes down. Except the Jarls just come and bully the Zeusers. And then the Zeusers can't stand up to that. The Jarls absolutely annihilate the Zeusers. That front line was not the most well considered. I need something really tough. Or if not something really tough, then... But... 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 Go Zeus, go! 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 Zeus, go. Go Zeus, go. And now Zeus just does this over and over again. And now Zeus will just kill everything. Go Zeus, go. Go Zeus, go. While everybody else is distracted. Zeus, go get them. Go get them. Go get all of the archers. Go. Who else is left? Who else is... Oh, shit, I think we got it. I think we've got it. What's left? Just take you out. Take you out. I'm going to back out. Can I Can I back out at this point? Yeah, I'm, I'm going back over to auto control. The Zeus is doing good work. The Zeus is just trying to take... It's two Zeus's versus two Yarls. One of the Yarls is out. They're both in Berserker mode. They're both in Berserker mode right now. Zeus, you need to back out away from there, buddy. Zeus, you are you slow? Okay. Oh, no. Zeus, you almost had this. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Back away, Zeus. Back away. Go. Go! Back away, Zeus! Go! No! Almost worked, you know. It really almost worked. That was that was almost a thing of beauty. If I just reduce the number of bards, but still keep the number really high, we could ha we, we could go back up to triple Zeus. I'm going back over to triple Zeus. And I'm going to control one of them straight away to immediately go and handle the archers. So... Go. Oh my goodness. Um, shout out to Ronnie who gave us 50 euros. Uh, you folks today are so incredibly generous. Uh, I mean, we're always, we're always, always. baffled. But, I mean, today is, is oh my goodness. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie, sorry, Ronnie says, Hello, John, Claire, and Shabby. I've been watching since the first room of the war. And finally, I have a chance to give something back. Watching you has cheered me up on many a tough day. Thank you so much and much joy for your new home. Oh, thank you oh, very, thank very you much so indeed. Much. Uh, thank you so, so much. And actually, uh, one that uh, I am going to... Uh, one that I'm going to pull up and prioritize, even though it just came in. Uh, it's from Azen, who gave us 10 Singaporean dollars. Ooh, uh, and exciting says, dollars. Uh, yeah, says, uh, hey, John, I just wanted to let you know how awesome of a YouTuber you are. Uh, I've watched you since ever since New Vegas Kill Everything Run. Uh, but the reason I wanted to bring it up and I'm, is uh, they say I also want to wish uh, 
all uh, Muslim uh, Salamat Hari Raya. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong and I'm so sorry, but um, that, is, uh, that is a specific greeting that is used in, um, in Southeast Asia uh, for Muslim, um, for celebrations of uh, Eid, al uh, Eid al Fitr. I'm so sorry, I forgot to say. Uh, I, 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 I'm just enjoying you staggering through some pronunciations here. Thanks for pointing it out. I'm so sorry that I, I just came. I, I was going to say something and then I fully forgot that it's Eid today. So uh, if there is anybody uh, watching who celebrates uh, Eid, Happy Eid to yeah. you. Uh, mm? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, Eid Mubarak to you. I hope you have a, a lovely feast. Uh, I don't know. I mean, hopefully later. I don't. I mean, I, you know. Um, Presumably, if if it's people in the UK, they are now feasting yes. and not watching us. Uh, but yes, uh, the yes triple Zeus is quite doing the job. I wonder if I just had a small number of these guys just staggered a bit, just like all over the place. But then I also had some tougher units just mixed in as well. So it's like, you know, just a few of these. Just, just, just lead them back. Lead them back in time. Lead them into the forest. And then on top of that, we still have enough maybe... Maybe some bomb throwers. There. Like one bomb thrower. Just to like, you know, lay down a bit of controlled fire over here. And then just go for a line of Sarissas at the back. Who tend to be pretty good at just keeping even tougher units busy and out of the way. Let's just get them out the way. All right, they're, they're, they're struggling a little bit here. And the Zeusers will do a good job. Then I take over a Zeus just to make sure that we take out the archers. All right, then I just leave it back to these guys. Okay, and then this is this is fine. So the Zeusers have cleaned up at the rear. The problem we've got here then is... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take over this Zeus in an attempt to just, just try and keep this Zeus out of trouble as best I can. And just lead him away from the other Zeusers. So now... Come on. Oh, that Zeus is dead. Oh, that, that's probably not going to fly in that case. Oh, no. How many Zeus's are left? It's it, it's two Zeus's. It's two, it's two Zeus's. Oh, never mind. It's one. And there's still three Yarls. So that, that Zeus is... That Zeus is mega bones. That wasn't so bad. That was that was getting there. That was getting there as a concept. I'm feeling like these guys just didn't have... Nothing. Maybe the snakes... The snakes do a surprisingly good job just causing confusion. And then just like some halflings dotted about. Yeah, activate snakes. Just shoot snakes and shoot snakes. There we go. Snakes do a good job causing confusion. The snake launcher is immediately dead. This is... And then, yes, the boat gets in the way. But then the Zeus is actually... If they hit them, it's... Yeah, that causes a huge amount of trouble. The boat has just got in the way and the Zeus are doing nothing. Because they're just wasting their ammo on that. So that, that was a disaster. That was a complete disaster one. Because the boat just completely got in the way there. If the if the Zeusers could not be causing trouble with the boats. And could actually be taking out most of the infantry straight away. And yeah, that guy goes down. Then the Zeusers do some excellent, excellent work. You go over to there. The Zeus then needs to turn some attention over to the archers. And just make sure they all go down. So just cancel all that. But then the Yarls come in. I need to find an answer to the Yarls. I have to find an answer to the Yarls. Because otherwise the Zeusers get bullied. They can clear out the chaff. They can't take out the Yarls. Back to the drawing board. The triple Zeus is not working. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Um, oh, I've got some questions for you. Oh, yes. Um, Hugo gave us $5 uh, dollars and wanted to know from 1 to 10, how do you score Portal 1 and 2? What's your favourite part of each? Uh, Portal 1 is basically a... Mm. Nine and a half out of ten. I only take a time. It's functionally perfect, although the only bit I, that is not ideal is I think the bit at the end after you break out of the test chamber and then have to go to GLaDOS drags a bit and doesn't have much story going on, uh, which is a problem, obviously. Uh, so I think that is uh, I think that's got to be uh, that's got to be the uh, the biggest issue. I like the introduction of the turrets. The turrets are excellent in one. Uh, in two, maybe down to more like an 8.5 or a 9. And I say that because there's a bit at the beginning that drags a bit, where it's just tutorializing what you've already seen in the first game. And sure, it has to do that, but there's like, there's no GLaDOS, there's almost no Wheatley. 
Like it's this this it's so it's mysterious. There's like half an hour of the game where there's like no story. And where's the story? Where's it gone? Uh I, I feel like Wheatley should have been getting involved uh during that, but he just didn't. It was a series of very boring chambers. Uh, so that was, that was a bit on the peculiar side. And maybe some of the final areas of Portal 2 drag a bit too much to There's just a few too many Wheatley rooms that aren't that interesting. And don't do much aside from, like, you know, comically let you know Wheatley's bad at creating puzzles. Um, so, yeah. So it's, 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 there's some amazing stuff there. But there's definitely more flab that could have been trimmed out. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll probably say, uh, I'll probably say that. Though, uh, yeah, uh, Wheatley taking control of the facility has to be the best mode to pull to. That's wonderful. Clap. Uh, yes. So, let's see. Yeah, people are mad at you in the chat for saying that. Uh, Steve, suddenly Steve gave us five uh, dollars uh, and says, I'm too much of a coward to follow your Resident Evil series, but how are you liking it? How is it compared to the rest of the series? Uh, it is like seven crossed with four. And 7 and 4 are probably the strongest entries in the series, with the possible exception of Resident Evil 2 Remake, which is excellent. But it's, you know, it's from a different generation. It's very, very different indeed. Uh, like, you know, it's it's up there with 4, 7 and 2 Remake, to my mind, in terms of high quality Resident Evil. It's excellent. It, it, it takes my favourite bit. Well, well, I'm not saying my favourite. I'm saying the, scare, the atmosphere of 7 is my favourite bit is uh, an interesting use of the word favourite. But it is a very strong bit of the game. So yeah, it's it's a very interesting one. I think it's it's very strong indeed. It's 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 got some really good stuff going on. Uh, yes, and uh, let's see. Um, suddenly, Steve gave us another uh, five dollars and wanted to know uh, if you think that CA still has work to do on Rome's tactical AI. I know you're really good, but it seems like you're able to walk all over the AI. You say this, but with the new improvements to City AI, there's definitely been an element to which, you know, heavily defended cities like Rome itself could really do a good job defending themselves uh, better than I would have suspected previously. So, let's see if a pirate queen with tons of healing can just basically fight her way if supported by 10 million snakes. If we've just got so much uh, so healing. So, the pirate queen, apparently you missed something, which is that um, when uh, she starts spinning, she drops bombs all around her. Eh. She doesn't survive long enough, even with healing support here. I, I can't set up anything that has enough health to just walk through this. Maybe a... A mammoth. Activate mammoth. Okay, activate mammoth. Supported by healers. Okay, nothing but mammoths, healers, and giant piles of snakes. Okay, like nothing but just keep the mammoth alive. And go! Keep them alive! Keep the mammoth alive. The mammoth died. I'd say it was a good attempt, but it wasn't. It was, it was, it was dreadful. It didn't even remotely work. Okay, so uh, desperately trying to keep something alive with mammoth, no. Clogging them up with snakes, no. That that's a no go. That's a definite no go as well. This is Ooh, interesting. Um, Macro Glossom in chat says bridge battles are also more interesting now because the AI can use the second crossing point. Uh, yes, they will occasionally do that, which is always of interest. Yes. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So those were the questions that we had. Uh, Tobak gave us a hundred Danish krona and says, "Yay, I caught an MATN stream. I flippin' love you two, and your bickering is flipping cute. Keep it up and take my money." We thank you uh, very, very much indeed. Yes, and they also gave us another uh, 50 Danish krona and says, Trans rights in super chat, damn it. Seems eminently reasonable to me. I didn't yes. say damn straight. Right. <laughs> and then you pointed it out, which yeah. like made it better. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh no, this is interesting. The sword casters are, have a bit of pushback to them. Very similar to, oh flip, I think we've done it. I mean, the sword casters are going catastrophically slowly, but if they can just get close enough to... Oh, no. They, they almost had this, but they can't get... Oh, we almost had it! It's just... Okay. The sword casters would appear to have... Yeah, they've got a bit of knockback on them. So they can actually... 
Yeah, they can push back the heavy stuff, the Yarls, which is which is kind of important. Once they've got that, though, that was going better the first time. The, these guys are doing nowhere near. I think the Reaper got a bit unlucky on this occasion, but that that almost worked. It almost works, damn it! And then just get all of them down, and then the Reaper does some good stuff. It just depends if the some of the Sword Lads get lucky or not. So those guys, yeah, there's now a lot of fire going down. But yeah, the, the Yarls are just being pushed back. I'm going to go over to this guy in a desperate attempt to just see if we can just... Um, I'm frozen and now I can't do anything. No! I'm too frozen. I think it cancels abilities. Oh no! Okay, this is this is fine. This is This almost works. This almost works. That means I just need a couple of candle heads. Okay, I'm going to bring the Reaper back. This is the spooky set is working. Bring the Reaper back. Okay, have a halfling right here. Bring a couple of distraction bards just to keep the sword lads safe. And then I need, I need a couple of fast lads whose only job is to basically make sure the archers can't do their terrible, terrible work. I need just a handful of fast lads and I can just join them. One knight. I, I will be this knight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this and that's gonna, I'm just going to be the knight, okay? I've got my I've got my shield up. All right, I've got my shield up, and I'm gonna hope that with the help of oh blood, that was epic battle scenes. That mean the Reaper's still alive, which is excellently good news. And then oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You, you just try and stop me. You just try and stop me. Go, go, go. I think everyone else is dead. This this was going this was going much better previously. Go, screw you. This is who are you? Just, what happened to the death casters? They were doing so No I was just trying I was just... This was going way better last time. Wait, what, what happened over here? What what went wrong over here? Because it felt like you guys were doing well, and then you just weren't. And then yes, just just arrows, yeah, screw you. I, I, I just I just need to trust the AI to do it to do its job well over here. Okay, and then go. Go. Screw! Oh, I've been very knocked over there. Wow! Oh, Etc. And then, okay. Well, the sword casters are all right. The sword casters. Oh shit! The sword casters might be about to do it. The sword casters are gonna do it. The sword casters are gonna do it. Knock him down! Just fill him with swords. They've got the knock. Yes! Holy flip! Whew. What category are the sword casters from? Uh, they're spookies. Mm. And they've got knockbacks. They're really, they've got so much knockback. Someone just said, I saw someone said, just said the chat. This looks really clunky. Oh, I have, I have beaten all of the hard battles. Ooh, I am a genius well at this game. I am a genius. Screw you, you stupid bastards. I have defeated the big brawl. So okay. Claire, you just need to just quickly wrap up uh, the last couple. Super chats and we'll go for dinner. Uh, anyway, what I meant is the, the reason I asked you what category they are is that Ro uh, gave us five pounds just now and says maybe something from the good or evil uh, categories could help defeat the yardly expensive stuff in those categories. Yes. Uh, with a smiley face, so I'm assuming there is something that they know about. Uh, but they also gave us another five pounds and says this game is so funny to watch. How are you, John, Claire, and Tabby? Does Tabby like the stairs? She's getting there. I mean, she she does when she comes down them. She does it in a slightly inelegant like hop where she when she move, where she kind of hops down with both her rear legs and like she kind of yeah. Plops basically, down. she like she will she will do her front paws like she will step down you know one front paw then the other front paw, front paw and then she will hop both of her back legs at the same time mm -hmm. and it's uh, adorable then because the type of staircase that it is the the railing there's just like a there's just like a, um, a railing without really like a banister yeah um but that means that if i'm standing at the bottom of the stairs and she's coming down the stairs she will like literally stop like four or five steps from the bottom when she's about like you know kind of petting level basically shoot credits that hobbit he did la he lasted longer than i thought and okay. she like comes over to me and asks for being petted before she, she finishes does. down the stairs she's very cute Dare interrupting a tabby story dear bro dear let's check what the quick draw does because this is the most expensive cowboy unit so i assume it's just like draw gun and fire and just like it's like a Okay, so it's it's a whole bunch of bullets that's enough to do 
some good work there, but yeah, once they're on top of, they're screwed. So, okay. <coughs> it's basically, yeah, devastating fire. Devastating, very accurate fire. I'm really liking these sword casters. That's very interesting because, okay, what if we had, yeah, these guys draw the initial, then we had a whole bunch of candle heads, and their job is basically just to push the minotaurs back. Then we got a whole bunch of sword casters behind them. Their job is just to actually do the DPS. And then we've got sheep skeleton archers also here as well. Just for the sake of... Okay, let's, let's just see how that does. So they're all going to charge in at this guy. And then they're going to all be pushed back. Push, 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 push. Start putting swords into them. Knock them back. Knock, 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 knock. And they're starting to go down. They're being pushed. I mean, yeah, they're losing momentum. They're losing momentum here. They are pushing through and away. And we win. That is, I'd, I'm loving that. Okay, the spooky stuff is really interesting. And I don't like these, by the way. Um, These missions come up all the time in Adventure. And I cut every single one of them out. Because <laughs> I found them boring. Uh, These are basically just, uh, yeah, just, hey, here's one unit. Here's how to, like, you know, experiment how to take him out. But, like, I found the easiest way to do it was just to basically, because it gives you the same amount of money as the enemy is, you just literally just, put the same unit in. I just got so bored of these. Like, oh, you know, I'll just put my own Yarl in. And, like, sooner or later, I'll whim. Like, you know, one like one of us will whim. And then he'll fall off. And then I'll probably hit him when he's fallen down. And, like, I'll probably... You know, event eventually I'll whim. Like, you know, one of us will win versus the other. So we'll just kind of go for a big a big hit. If we don't win there, then uh, I will sooner or later. So, yeah, on that occasion, I got defeated. Uh, I guess I could, you know, lay down some fire. But, like, you know, sooner or later, because it's exactly the same unit one-on-one... -on -one, I'm, I'm gonna win. So on that occasion, I got the first actual uh, hit in, which is fine. So yeah, I I, I, I find these very boring. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Jai who uh, gave us twenty dollars uh, and says, "Hey, John, Claire, and Tabby, I watch your Skyrim playthrough and realize that I wind up playing every game I can as a stealth sniper." Any thoughts on a good break out of the mold build to challenge myself for the Mass Effect remasters? So not a stealth sniper. Uh, I mean, you know what's It's like a stealth sniper is not like you know, it's not like a Skyrim stealth sniper where it's just the defox. It's just basically objectively the most powerful build. Um, stealth stealth sniper in Mass Effect. Well, I guess they mean that sounds like it must mean in Mass Effect Two. Well. They're saying, stealth is they're really saying that they do something stealthy in every game and they would like to do something different yeah. in Mass Effect and they want your advice on a build. Um, crowd control via biotics in Mass Effect 1 is hilarious. Um, so just a big crowd control thing I find just wonderful. Excuse me, I think that's I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Just kind of going all biotics then going for uh, Nemesis. It's kind of difficult to be entirely support in Mass Effect because you can't directly heal uh, and healers always got a mad cooldown on it. Um, Vanguards got interesting and weird and frontline-y in Mass Effect 2 and 3, but Vanguard's not very good in Mass Effect 1 and they don't really suit their own role in a way. Like, I think crowd control biotic in Mass Effect 1 is very fun. I think the only class that doesn't really work in 1 is Engineer. Because it, it's fine. It's nice to have electronics and you get tons of shield. It's nice to be able to open every container, I guess. But, like, it feels like they those should be support skills. It makes you very strong against the Geth, uh, which is fine. Uh, and Adepts are fun again in 3. The problem is, if you want to take the same class for all three games, Adepts in 2 are just garbage. Because they just can't really do anything to most... They can't really do anything to armor. They can't really do much to um, normal kinetic barriers. Uh, they can use them into biotic shields, uh, in the form of warp, but, like, for the most part, they can only do stuff if there's no shielding. And when there's no shielding, the enemy's basically already dead. So, Adept in 2 is just so bad. And then it was back to being fun in 3, uh, because the weight system meant that you could spam powers, uh, way more effectively. And I'll give it, for all its faults, story-wise, Andromeda did have fun biotics. It did have very fun biotics, uh, with, like, the biotic uh, detonations and stuff. That was all fun. Uh, yeah, and shout out to uh, Buffington the second who gave us another five pounds. Uh, not Amjiki who gave us ten dollars and says, "I love the content. You're a legend." Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> I'm sure uh, my mother will be thrilled to hear it. Yes, 
Uh, She'll be in bed by now, don't worry. Okay, we can all swear and talk about okay, ejaculation okay, okay, again. Okay, hey, 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 please don't. <laughs> Come on. Um, uh, let's see. Because I, I was, you know, going to keep talking. Oh, go on So then. that I can catch up. Oh, go on, I suppose. Uh, yes, Reaper has a very important question. Reaper gave us $5 and says, John, long have I pondered what I would ask you. I have come to this conclusion. Do you skip leg day? I, d I don't do leg day in the first place. That's my secret, Cap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I you never take did. a walk every day, though. I do. I take a walk a every very, single day. It's a very, like, um... It's a leisurely walk. Yes, it well, I was going to say mild, but it's like, it's the kind of exercise that's generally recommended anyway, you know? Like... Yeah, probably for people as catastrophically unfit as me, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's I blend just... all my favourites together. The potion sellers, couple of sword slingers in the background, one huacher at the back, because I enjoy the huachers, and they ended up a little bit way more divided than I wanted them to be, uh, which is not good. My chaff is, oh, but this is, this is fine. Oh, the sword slingers, are, that's, they just demolished them. Just walking through. Okay. Thank you to those who encouraged me to investigate the uh, the spooky set. Because that is, there's just a mammoth on top of a mountain. And he's going to, he's going to come down. It's going to be lovely. Okay, I know we like, I know we like, you know, I know we, we've, we've just been talking about how I've grown as a person. But that's not going to stop me doing four watchers and then just some chaff at the front here because it's it's just not it's just not that it, this is this is going to be a thing of of beauty the watchers are desperate to get involved here and, <laughs> you stupid losers a lot of people are dead right now and how did you not take that you're literally you're flipping off oh, the frame rate doesn't like it anymore okay the mammoth's gonna go down in a second because we're just going to take out the mammoth. And that's one dead mammoth. And now look at that. I just, I just love it. It's just my favourite unit in the game. The watch is... It's it's just wonderful. And screw you, Mr. Me Seeks. There you go, you stupid losers. This is this is wonderful. This is this is just the best thing. I'm, I'm going to take control of one of these. I don't, I don't know precisely how you, you aim this. But we're just going to... Go! Go! I guess you just point in roughly the right direction and, and, and then you hope and, and okay, babe. I'm kind of getting in the way. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one. I see him up there. Go, go to the Go! I think I think it, there's, a, there's a chieftain over there. There is a chieftain over there and. Oh, 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 oh. And. Go, 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 go. Miles off. Okay, I'm gonna leave the aiming of these to the AI and oh dear, there's. There's a bit of a problem here. Hopefully the AI can take you out. What, what's going on up here? What the... What's the issue? Who's... I think you just killed your own friends. Do, do we know... Oh, never mind. There was someone stuck back here, but he appears to be dead now. So that's that's nice. After this one betrayed his own friends. Flipping... Joker scene at the beginning of the bang of the beginning of Dark Knight over here, blimey. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, next up we have What's My Name Again, who gave us five uh, dollars and says, I'm just here to know if John's going to do a legendary playthrough for Mass Effect with the new graphics. Yes! Yes, indeed. And some other changes that will be interesting. Now, we know we can turn off some of them. Like, they've said you can turn off the new Mako handling if you want the Mako handling to be trash, which I do! Um, but I don't know whether there'll be, like, options to turn on or off other stuff. I hope there will be, because I'd like it to be, you know, it makes sense to me to be, like, Rome Remastered, where they can say, you know what, here's the exact same game, warts and all, but with prettier graphics, or here's some modest improvements that are still respectful. That's how it should be. So I kind of hope they do it that way, but I don't, I don't know whether I've got confidence they're going to do it that way. We'll have to see. Yeah, and, uh, Oman Gaming gave us $5.00. And I want to know if you've ever heard of the, or in fact, actually, if the two of us have ever heard of the 90s dark wave band Crux Shadows. A lot of their stuff is What's inspired What's dark by... wave? I'm sorry? What's dark wave? Is that a music genre? I don't know. Okay, I feel like that answers the question. Yes. I feel like okay. I've efficiently answered the question there. Okay, so... <laughs> 
the, th- the thing that they said that I was reading, yeah. that you interrupted the description of the band, yeah. um, a lot of their stuff is inspired by ancient myth, including a lot of Greek or Roman stuff. So there you go. Greco-Roman, you say in English, or Greco? Uh, Greco. Greco it's, yeah. It makes no sense, but then the word Greece doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. No, but you don't... You, Every time that I ask for a pronunciation, John says, yeah, I know it makes no sense. Like, I'm aware it makes no sense. That's why I'm asking you. If it made logical sense, I would, like, be able to deduce it, you know? I wonder if I just do, a, like, a, a tier of gunslingers behind just a, a row of farmers, whether that would actually work. So if you guys just go, I mean, that is a good job. They've just done a good job clearing out some stuff here. And now, if you can just take out the wheelbarrow lads. The problem is, the wheelbarrowers are tough to hit. So it just depends whether they can actually take out the wheelbarrowers. One's down. The, the quick draw lads are just failing to hit the wheelbarrowers. Ooh, okay. And Oman Gaming. Yay! We got up just. <laughs> Oman Gaming gave us uh, $5 and says, Darkwave is gothic techno music. So there you go. I mean, Wait, was I'm Darkwave sorry. the band? I'm sorry? Wait, was Darkwave the band? No, the band uh, is called Crux Shadows. Uh-huh. And Darkwave is a genre of music. Uh, it's gothic techno music. Um, I need you to understand that in the 90s, I was not cool enough to be aware of gothic techno. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> Uh, but yes, Alana in the chat says, I love Crux Shadows, can confirm lots of mythology-based songs, and they would know because they're a classicist. So there you go. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Firework Cut Your Share put basically just cause boosters. Whether they can actually... Klez, klez. Okay, they do do a tiny bit of damage, just not much. Okay, um, now I know what the Firework Cut just do. I'm, just, I'm trying to learn what all the units do. It's yeah, no, important. the great thing is I usually group the super chats in groupings that make sense. Like, for instance, I had three about different games that people are asking you about, but then you always interrupt me before I'm done. Even though this is the agreed format of reading super chats that we have. Yep. Anyway, uh, Nate Dog uh, gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, hey guys, I've been watching the channel since the Hitman Blood Money No Kill Challenge. And I've always thought it would be great to see you play Binding of Isaac on the channel. You get to say the thing. Best Isaac? What? No, the thing that... Mm, you get to say the thing, which is, aha, but we've already played that. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. Yes, we have indeed played Binding of Isaac. Wait, I think there was like... There was like a version, there was like a remade version. Mm. I don't know whether we played the version they're looking anyway, for or not. Anyway, I'm gonna like link it for them. Yes. Uh, the, the problem with editing Patreon cast sometimes is that I spend the entire day listening to John talk and go on these wild tangents. And then when I reference them, he doesn't remember them because he recorded it a Last while week, ago. Last week, yes. Um, and then he reacts like I'm being weird for making a joke about a thing he said several days ago <laughs> when that's what he did with the damn chocolate chew and he brings it up 12 years later like it's weird that I didn't remember our conversation about chocolate chews. Snack. Snack, 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 snacks. I'm, I'm just doing pure snack launching. And anyway, it is... we played Rebirth, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Yes, we did. I'm not, I think it's, like it's a pure... Remake or remaster or something? Yay! The snakes win! <laughs> All glory to snake! Snake, 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 snake. All glory to snake. Oh my god, people! Yes? Oh, Ken. I read that as Ke- <laughs> I read that as Keir Starmer for a second. <laughs> so for fuck's sake, mate, I appreciate it, but you've got more important things to figure out right now. <laughs> I genuinely read that as Keir Starmer. Yeah, me too, obviously. <laughs> you know, there is this... I'm so sorry, Ken. That's very offensive to you. <laughs> so sorry. I, I'm sure you are, like, at least somewhat competent at your job. Yeah. At least in comparison to Keir Starmer. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, 
If anyone's wondering, by the way, who's not British, he's a person who's supposed to be the leader of the opposition. Yeah, he's supposed to be competent and good at his job. Well, but he's supposed here to be the opposition, are. which is a thing he's not being. Yeah. Um. Anyway. What if we can just bottleneck them? Just shout out to Ken, candles. who very, very kindly and generously gave us a hundred dollars, and we've just been comparing him uh, to Kiss. <laughs> he probably is regretting it at this point. Yes. Yes. Um. Let's see, uh, there are secrets under the bridge, by the way, if you want to look later. Uh, Ken says thanks in advance uh, to you guys, as my second child was born last week, and your videos will be key to making it through late night feedings. Aww. If you're so inclined, use this to buy yourself cigars or something similarly indulgent. I'll tell you what we have done that's indulgent. Like, uh, today, oh, that was we, 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 we went on a bit of a fun little kind of date day, me and Claire, uh, which is we went looking at a few bits of furniture, by which I mean we didn't actually look to buy any furniture, we just looked to take advantage of the expertise of people inside furniture shops so we can buy furniture online where it's cheaper. Uh, but they were very helpfully told us all the information that we need to know to buy the right furniture online. So, I felt a bit bad about that. Um, and we went... Yeah, you didn't tell me that's what we were doing beforehand. Though. I didn't, no. And yes, congratulations, Ken, on your uh, on uh, on the your baby, of course. Absolutely. Um, yes. But we also went art shopping. Yeah, like I mean... Like fancy we... people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is... I say art shopping. We, get to, we went to... We made, in the end, we basically... The only place we got anything was like a, a print shop. Where it was not very expensive. I mean, I think prints. They, did, they, did, they do, yeah, they do. <laughs> they did some few, really nice prints. They do a few things. Like, they had prints, and then they also had, like, paintings, like, yes. fancy paintings, and then they also had, like, um, things that were, like, prints, and then people had, like, yeah. added some extra, some, yeah. some paint, like, painted over top. So, most of it was really affordable. There was a beautiful cat painting that yeah. I couldn't. It was a bit, it was too expensive. It was nice. It was lovely. But it well, was what expensive. I wanted to say was, I think we should consider commissioning a painting of Tabby. Oh yeah, that we and should do. Then, that will and be... then when we have future pets, we have more, we have a painting for all of them. And we can have them next to each other. There's a yeah, wall no, of paintings Yeah, no, I think that would be pets. absolutely Not like a, a small one, so it doesn't cost too much. Yeah, Just no. like a little painting of all our pets. I think that'd be really nice. But, uh, I mean... but what we also did... Oh my what God. we oh also my. did. I wasn't sure if you wanted to tell them. I do want to tell them this. Of course. Um, I wanted to basically like, you know, so that Claire and I could figure out what we did and didn't like. I wanted to go to all different types of gallery. So we went to just like, you know, little print shops and stuff. It's where we actually bought some stuff. But I also wanted to go to a fancy art gallery. A proper art gallery. Now, I found this little art gallery um, in, in a fancy bit of London. But the problem is... Problem, I, I slightly underestimated how fancy. Like, like one of the pieces of art cost forty-eight thousand pounds. Wait, I didn't see that. Yeah, one of them cost forty-eight grand. I saw one that was like twenty-one and now twenty-one, twenty-one thousand pounds. Yeah, I was like, what? I was like, okay, so, so I realised what what we're going to do is in order to make sure that they were willing to speak to us. You know, the fucking riffraff that we are. I decided that we needed to make some slight adjustments. To, to who we were. So this very fancy, well-turned-out young lady came up to us and, you know, very polite. He was trying to build a bit of rapport with us, so was asking after us and who we were and what we did. Yeah, and so was I told... wearing this extremely fancy, like, black jumpsuit. Yeah, that was she was, just, she was like, really, really fancy. Classy. So I told oh. her I was a pretty big deal in um, nautical engineering. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd worked on... I was, you know, I, I was big in the world of yachts. Um, you know, I was kind of, you know, I implied I was, I kind of implied a few different things. I kind of implied a few different things to her. Like the implication was I was like some form of yacht building millionaire. Um, and I, and I was here to, you know, to, to, to kind of buy art for my new yacht. Um, and if, if she didn't go for it, she spent like, she spent a good half an hour chatting to us and schmoozing us and trying to get contact details off us. Because um, you told her you were really, really, really I, rich. Because I applied to her, I was really rich. And, you know, we're looking to spend, we're looking to buy some art for my super yacht. I, I, I've set up this small website to use it to buy things. I named it after a rainforest in South America. You may have heard of it, I don't know. Um... <laughs> And she, she, 
Yeah, the problem and is the nice thing is, the nice thing is, she 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 said she'd send us some art recommendations because I did give her a real email. I gave her a fake phone number because I know her bothering me, but I gave her a real email so she can send me some art recommendations to see if we like them. The problem is, all the art's gonna cost ten grand. But I was just, we, I just wanted to go in to see if we liked any of the pieces, and we didn't really. We like we liked the cheap stuff in the in the print store way more. Uh, oh yeah, they had way more. I think in the fancy Hello, gallery there was like one thing we liked, but even that was. But like... I kind of got really into this alternate persona, and I just started talking to her about how good COVID had been for the yacht industry. I just, I think she probably thought I was the biggest monster in the world because I seemed so happy about COVID. But she just had to smile and nod because she thought she was dealing with a yacht millionaire, and that I might buy enough art to give her a big commission. I'm the worst person in the world! That woman needs a medal for dealing with all that. That's true, that's also what I think about myself. There was literally no one else in the art gallery. If there'd been anyone else there, I wouldn't have done it. But like, this woman was just sitting at the desk and there was no one else in the gallery. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have some fun and I'm going to be- I'm going to be a yacht millionaire today. Okay, people are saying you were wasting her wages and her time and you were a bastard, like- <laughs> <laughs> this is a person who was sitting in a very fancy art gallery. Yeah. I don't, you know, you know, I'm gonna. And then she told us about a painting she had sold like that day. Yeah. So I. Oh, did she show how much that one was? I can't remember. I don't remember that. I thought that I was remember. like one of the ones that was like, I think it was like five or six grand or five, something like grand. that. That big yeah. round one that was really pretty, but yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Claire refused. Claire mostly didn't play along with this. Claire, Claire, Claire couldn't bring herself. But I love if I'm going to like if I'm going to a shop or a gallery or something. I know I'm never going to go to again. I normally invent a persona. I, I go as somebody else. I don't go as me. Um, I, I enjoy going as um, somebody else. Whether it's like the CEO of a box company uh, or a yacht millionaire. Um, or in various bits and pieces. I tried to talk Claire into, you know, putting on a French accent to claim she was the heiress to a wine empire. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You backed out of that, you coward. You no, didn't no, put no, on a... No, no, you no, didn't work it into, hello, no, I am the heiress to... What happened is that we left the house to walk to, like, where... To walk to where we're going. And I was saying to... And John's telling me, have you decided who you are yet? Yes, because I always, whenever I'm going out and I'm and going... And then I said, and then I said, ah, well, we made our money in the wine. And then you were like, oh, that's so boring. Pretty hackneyed, pretty French. hackneyed. John, you were the kind of customer we hate. <laughs> the sort that pretends to be a yacht millionaire. All the personas have a French assistant, that is true. Yeah. I actually know a CEO to a box company. Oh, amazing. Uh, Mega Scroll, is that the CEO to a uh, box, um, a subscription box company? Yeah. Because I also want you to know, I suggested to Claire as a possibility that I could introduce her as my assistant. And then while we were looking at the art at the gallery, like at various points, like talk about what my wife would and wouldn't like. And Claire snigger and say, I don't think it really matters what your wife liked. And then we could like, you know, I could squeeze Claire's ass and, you know, <laughs> and just have a very public affair in front of, in front of the staff. But we didn't do that. I decided against that. I thought that might be going too far. But I thought about it. <laughs> well, what what it is is that we were talking about um, very, very, very early on when we were dating. It must have been the first like couple of years, right? Because you were still living with so. Oh, someone just someone just made a really good point. Someone said, "Hi there, I'm a Dogecoin millionaire." I should have said, "Can I pay for these in Bitcoin or something?" Like, yeah. do you do you take Bitcoin? I should have. Ah, oh, I should have done that. I'm doing that next time. We, okay. Yeah. There's um next time we go to somewhere fancy, like you know, a, a fancy like I walk past like a fancy whiskey shop or something. I'm going in, I'm gonna pretend I'm a Bitcoin. Egg Carton Company CEO. Yes! Thank yes. you. Yes! Uh, yes! Thank you, Dragon's Anvil. <laughs> I did ask the lady at the print shop if they had any prints of hedgehogs, by the way. Yes, you did. I would have bought them too, but she didn't. I would have well, 100% bought them. Well, the thing is, like, them. they had some really cute prints that were quite affordable, and, like, also, 
I don't know, it's like my parents really love hedgehogs, my dad really loves hedgehogs, he like leaves ill, like dry cat food in the garden for them because they like, y you know, so I just, I don't like, I don't, I, I, I just, I love hedgehogs. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so vampires uh, just to get around the back of them, just to cause distraction, and then these guys just basically use their push. To just basically oh my keep god, all that's of this. amazing. John, you're gonna love this. Yes. Um, Gonville Bromhead in chat says, One of my friends, when asked to put her name down, when asked to put her name down, uh, used the line, I shan't use the title, no one can spell Marchioness. <laughs> Which I think is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I don't, is that how you say Marchioness? Uh, that? I don't, you know, I, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not fancy enough to know how you pronounce shit like, like that. I think you spell Marquis, Marquis, and then you say Marquis, or you can say Marquis, or Marquis. Marquis in Europe, Marquis in America, even though Marquis would be the logical French spelling, which is actually in UK. Pronunciation. Yeah, it's re which is really weird, yeah. but it, it, it is what it is. Right, you guys just charge over there, and then, I'm okay, this, this, this is, this is, this is, this is the moment. This is flipping. I'm going back to my old friend now. It it, it it's Hawacha time. Uh, I I can afford. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh yeah oh 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 flip yeah. And then just and then just do the then just a line of ice arches just to slow them down. I don't I don't care at that point. Okay, so they're all going to charge in on that. And now arrows. And now they're just going to go over in that direction. Just slow them down. And that's what the flip was that? Oh, there we go. You're you're down, and you're down. The problem is, uh oh, uh oh, the mammoth. You need to take out the no, no, the Huacha line. How has this not worked? Uh, one of you's just dead, and then, uh, is is anyone capable of getting up again? I feel like, oh no, I can't believe that didn't work. Okay, I needed those archers were just a waste. I just need. I just need infinite. Yeah, I just, I just oh, need. Ba 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 ba. Look, we're gonna make this up to the art world by commissioning local artists to make pictures of Tibby Tips. Uh, yes. By the way, uh, Stegosoma T D. Uh, um, Stegosoma T D. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm very sorry. Steg. Uh, gave us fifty dollars. Uh, thank you so so much. Thank you very very much indeed. Uh, and says commissioning art, commissioning art is a hundred percent worth it. I've commissioned several works as gifts over the years. Also, good luck on the name. The name. The name. Did we say something about a name? The name. Coming up with a new name for myself. The next time I go to a whiskey shop and introduce myself as Baron von Superman. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Oh dear, oh dear. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, okay. Um, well, thank you so, so much. I mean, I think, do you think maybe we'd want to, do you think when we commission Tabby Art, we should also think about like having small pieces for Jaspie and Lesser? I'm not sure about retro. Maybe I'm not sure about retroactively creating it. I feel like it should be something that was. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Fair enough. I'm not sure whether you like because then how far do you go back? Yes, that is true. I suppose. That's. That is true. I'm. I'm just feeling like I can just do. Every then again, this is this is quite a lot of. That's a lot there. If I just have one like basic half laying it here, and then I assume they all. Yeah, they all come in there. <laughs> then there's. Yeah, then at that point, I think we just lay down. I'm really feeling the spooky. The spooky is my new favorite thing because the candle heads are very cheap. In fact, I kind of feel like even against this much, if I just like had a massive pile of candle heads right here, then if I just put in a handful of pirate bombers just on this line, just to basically lay down a bit of fire straight away. And then I just had just, yeah, a handful of protectors on this line and then go 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 bombers go 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 doing some good damage there and now the candle heads just push they just push 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 just pushing constantly and it's just the the knockback the full throw that is really strong 
Like, they're so cheap, but they're so effective. The candleheads are a really good bit of... Oh, an invasion. Flipping invasion here. And these guys are just in the walkway. What happens if I just... What happened? How do those... What happens to those boats? Can they get out of the water? Oh, they just try and get ashore. And then... Immediately all drown. Oh, I love it. That's, that's fascinating. Which is... Which makes this quite easy. Because there's... Okay, well, hang on. What just stops me then just having... Yeah, when they're in the street over here, I feel like at that point... If I just have, like... I feel like if I just have 10 million sword casters right here... They're not they're not getting up this street. They're not getting up... They're all gonna... They're all gonna die right now. Aside from that... Oh, one of them made it! I mean, good, good for him. Now he's dead. And now I don't... These guys are not... These guys aren't getting anywhere. Although this, this corner's really gonna work in their favour, unfortunately. And now, yeah, this is... This is fine. And then just more, 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 more. Wow! That actually worked against me on that occasion. Just because these guys managed to hold it together. Okay, maybe not just that. Maybe, maybe put... Actually, if I could just have them actually behave and work it, then again. I can't just have a dragon. Because they've got the berserkers. Berserkers hard counter the dragons. And, and there's two yells here. Which is... Okay, need to have a think about this one. A secret on top of the light tower, by the way. Uh, and I thought you'd love this from Alana. The they lighthouse, say, you mean. Um, hmm? The lighthouse, you mean. Uh, that, yes, yeah, somebody said light tower, so I just read it. Um, okay, so, um, sorry, Alana says, um, Ooh, I, I, once bought, I once bought some designer shoes, told the woman in the shop that I was my publisher's best-selling poet. Oh. It was true, but it was only because I raised fifteen pounds for charity. <laughs> Amazing. Artemis is five and a half grand. I kind of want to see her in action. That's expensive. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just enjoy. I, I just very much enjoy pretending to be other people in public on occasion. I'm sorry. I must be. I'm probably a bastard, but I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, 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 right. Let's see. Uh, sorry, Sci-Fi Storm. Uh, gave us five Canadian dollars and says official petition to have Vlad be the new channel mascot. Oh. Uh, also, I just heard that my internship won't become a permanent job, so have a sad fiver. Oh. Sorry to hear I'm that. I'm very sorry story. to hear that. And thank you so much for all your excellent uh, tips about the game today. Yes. Um, whenever it's a game that they know that they've played, I always know because they always are like the person that has so, so, so much really good advice. Excellent. Uh, so that's why I recognize their username. I'm like, ah, this is the person with the good advice. Uh, and Scott gave us five pounds uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, it's the first stream that I've got for a bit. I hope that you guys are well. I'm loving the Total War series. It's It's been so fun to put together. But mm -hmm. it is coming to an end because Mass Effect Legendary is almost here. And, like, it was never going to be a world domination because, like, Rome Total War reaches a point where you have basically won the game. And you know you've won the game. And it's largely when you've made so much money you can't really lose anymore. Uh, so the finale is this Friday so that next week Mass Effect can take over. Uh, so is the finale coming up? It's a, it's going to be a feature length episode because there's a lot to be done, but it, it's coming up. Claire's going to be editing it We don't actually know yet because I'm editing it tomorrow, so we don't know if it's going to be feature length, but you were recording for a I long time. I think it will be. Uh, it's just that like a while ago you told me that it might not be that long, but sure. I, I thought it wasn't, then it was. Oh, you checked it, have you? Uh, oh, well, well. I don't, well, I don't. Well, I don't know. Like maybe it'll edit down really nicely. Go on, balloon archers! Come on, <sighs> balloon archers! Actually, you know you're in the wrong place because you're just going to be ambushed right there. Uh, I want you over on this street over here. I want you all walking down this street. Come on, balloon archers! Come on, balloon archers! Let's go, balloon archers! Let's go! Let's go! Let's 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 go! Yeah, this is it. This is it. I'm gonna I'm gonna send them everyone into space. Send them into space. Go 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 into space with you. And if you can, hit, put them all in space. Everyone into space. Everyone into space. Everyone into space. Everyone into space. Straight back up again. Are they going to die straight away? This is oh go balloons. It's all balloons. All balloons. This is the balloon runner. Go balloon runner. Go balloon runner. The yells are 
uh, the berserkers that that, that they're heavy. They're, they're trying to do what they can. This is this is sort of working. Oh no, the Yarl's got on top of them. The Yarl's got on top of them. He's he, attach more balloons. Attach more balloons to the Yarl. He must be balloons now. No. No, it was actually looking vaguely promising, but I think, I don't know how, how bad the fall damage in this game. I don't think it's actually that severe, because people seem to take a big falls so and then just get up anyway. Darn it, no! I love the balloon archers, they're such good fun. The balloon archers are really good fun. I wonder if, like, yeah, maybe if I started the, just basically a team of pure candle heads over here. I think that's, I mean, you get so much firepower, 25 candle heads! That's so much firepower. And because they've got the full throw down ability, they can just do... They can do so well. Like, and they seem to have not an insignificant amount of health, to be honest. And now just, yeah, push them back. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 Dead, dead. The lands with shields, it doesn't matter. Just blast them away. And the big lands, the Yarls, they don't care. They just, they just, they just don't care. They just push him back. He can't get to them. It really effectively hard counters the big heavy lads. Uh, it looks like actually if he's in rage mode, he can just say, screw you. I don't care. Possibly, yeah, he gets the bypass in rage mode. But outside of rage mode, I think he's forced. But maybe, ah, he was able to push through. So I think that's, I think that's what happens when he's at low health. But that was still excellent. I think if I just had maybe just, yeah, I'm going to have all of these down to 2,000. I'm going to have two sword casters at the rear. And just for a bit of really hard-hitting firepower, I think the spooky set's really good. Because the sword casters, the DPS on them is dumb. Unless they're about to stab their own guys in the back. Which they might be about to. Because I there is friendly fire in this game. But apparently not on these lads. There's not. Die, 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 die. Sword casters just pushing forward. Just those guys full throw down into next week. In come the Yarls, but the swords, the swords are strong enough to push back the Yarls in rage mode. Not so much. It's still tricky, but both my swords masters are alive. You're going to die momentarily. You are so full of swords. How did you lose? Look at the number of swords in that man. Was there a healer? I don't know. Fascinating. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to, um, shout out to Drovalon, who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much, Jake. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, it's just a, a huge today. Um, Drovalon says, hi, Tabby and company. Oh, um, Tabby, good yes. girl. I've been watching the channel since... Uh, it says since I started. I'm not sure if you mean since you started watching YouTube or since the channel started. Uh, but uh, Drivalon says, I really like your stuff. John, which planets are you most and least excited for in the new Mass Effect series? Uh, least excited for the world I don't even remember the name of, uh, which you recruit Grunt on uh, in Mass Effect 2 because it was always a tragically underdeveloped planet because the idea of a ship graveyard that mercenaries fight over for turf is a really fun idea but it was a garbage planet that you visited for 10 and a half minutes where it was completely underdeveloped and it was so boring uh, I hate that planet I think it's such a waste uh, that it's not more interesting than it is uh, most probably ooh interesting. Noveria is always a really interesting planet, but like, it felt like it was uh, maybe could have been prettier than it was. So I'd like to see what they're doing with Noveria because I understand they've changed like some of the sight lines in the main building, just because there's more like technology available, so that's going to be kind of cool to say. I'm going to provide some Sarissas just because Sarissas are good for poking and keeping enemies back, and it's <laughs> going to keep my uh, it's just going to keep my sword uh, lads a bit more safe, because the sword lads appear to be able to just shoot straight over the heads of their friends which is really cool. So I'm kind of hoping that this might work out pretty nicely. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, thank you to uh, Stegostomatidi who uh, confirmed when uh, they said good luck on the name. It was about the pronunciation of their name. It ah, is I see. Science Latin. Uh, yes, it does look like... Uh, it looks like Science Latin, but I didn't know that it was fake. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Um, Patrick gave us five uh, dollars and says congrats on your new home i hope you are all doing it well uh we are thank you very much we still have a lot of setup to do but we're really loving it so far uh and tea cream gave us uh ten uh dollars can yours not die when they're in rage mode because what the bloody hell 
God, sorry. Uh, so Tea Cream gave us uh, $10 and says, please don't let Tabby outside. Outdoor cats have much shorter lifespans and cats are the number one killer of birds. She won't be outside like all the time. She'll just be sitting outside in the patio with us potentially. That's yeah, I mean, all. the thing is, uh, number one, it looks like you're in the US if you're donating in dollars. Uh, and I will say the, the the wildlife in the UK is not as dangerous. It's much more common to have uh, outdoor cats here. Yes. But Tabby will not want to be a cat that's just outdoor for like, you know, hours, hours at a time on her own. Yeah, not we at all. We suspect Absolutely that she not. might come outside with us for like five minutes at some point, but it is not like, she's not really interested in, in like hanging out outside. And, you know, I don't wish to be disloyal to my cat, <laughs> but she is, uh... Useless. She is not useless. She was so good at figuring out the stairs. That's true. She's so That's true. curious and... No, not yeah. over there, you damn Anyway, bastards. she can't, she can't take a bird is what I'm saying. No, no, like, not Like, she's a not, you know, she's, she's a 16 year old cat. Like, she's not that... Spry that she can, you know, cat. I've seen a cat catching a bird before, and she could not do that. Oh, mm? poor Tabby. So, so not not believed in. I'm sorry. I'm the one who said when many moons ago we were asked to give a Crusader King three traits to ourselves and Tabby that she should have the brave trait because she's afraid of things and she does them anyway and you were like ha, 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 she's a coward and you have eaten those words she is a very brave girl she has been a star in this house move she was doing stairs three days after we moved because she just wanted her nighttime cuddle with me yes that is true so she's the best girl but she's not going to catch any birds um <laughs> Not enough firepower there. Chevron Tango gave us five uh, pounds and says shout out to Claire, who says shout out to John, who says shout out to Tabby, who says shout out to Chad, who says shout out to Zeus, who says shout out to Owl. To who? To Owl? No, who says shout out to, and then there was a full stop, so I made a noise. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I, it was interpretive. Um, oh, no, quick draws of garbage oh, against Berserk because so you messed them up. Dragon Zenville says, uh, my cat is 19 and only wanders about the garden for a few minutes before going to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, legit, legit. Now that Reaper thing seemed good. Someone just mentioned the Reaper. I'm going to send in a Reaper. And I'm going to send them in with like some support in just in the form of healers. Uh, maybe I'll send also like, uh, like, yeah, two sword casters. And then a bunch of uh, medieval medieval healers, is it? Yeah, medieval healers. And I should be able to afford two of them. Screw it. Let's go. So we're just going to heal up the Reaper. The Reaper, yeah, appears to just like be able to just like sort of stab units for funsies. So on the corner, then just get over there. Yeah, it sort of traps them. And I'm just healing up the Reaper as best I can. And then providing some firepower from the rear using the sword lads. So the Reaper, with two healers to keep him alive, should hopefully have a huge amount of staying power. And yeah, he can just sort of like stagger certain units and just carry them around. And then in comes the sword lads. Oh, they're, just, they're, just, they're already dead. Okay, they're already dead. That's nice. Much of the Reaper... Wait, when did the Yarl die? I mean, I assume the Reaper killed him, but I'm not 100% sure when that happened. But that seemed to that seemed to work much better. I was like, how to defeat a catapult? Oh, I wonder how I'm going to defeat a cocky catapult. Okay, for once, I'm not going to send my own catapult. I'm just going to send 10 million archers, and we're just going to fire on these guys. And just... Guys, if you do not win this, this is going to be embarrassing. Just, just fire. Come on. There you go. There you go. About time. Good. Well done, lads. Well done. Clap! Uh, yes, oh, shit, it's after midnight. <laughs> yes. Happy tomorrow, John. Yay, happy tomorrow. Uh, How are you doing? I mean, it's it's good, but if you don't let me talk, they donate more. <laughs> Damn it, guys. Stop it. Claire, all yours. 
Uh, hey John, what's your? F uh, so this is from Bio Fake who gave us five uh, euros. Says John, what is your favorite French specialty? Ooh. I mean, all butter croissants are pretty good. They're pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, croissants are really sweet. Okay, uh, I just want you to know that part of the super chats was, uh, John, what's your friend favorite French specialty? You can't answer, Claire. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I oh, I thought dear. you would either go straight for that or you would say yeah, right when uh, when I mentioned it to you. So that's why I'm. Quintuple to Zeus, try go! That. Go, Quintuple Zeus. Go, twin tuple Zeus. Go, twin tuple Zeus. One of the Zeus's is just not walking. Go. Okay. Problem. We haven't even taken down the mammoth yet, which is a bit of a concern. The mammoth has a lot of health, but Zeus is a better at crowd control than, ma than taking out big, single, tough targets. And with the scarecrows at the back providing supporting fire... No, the Zeus's are boned. The Zeus's... Oh, that was... Did, did we even take out the mammoth in the end? Yeah, the mammoth went down. Nothing else did. That was that. Okay, quintuple Zeus was not the solution. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. We've got a couple of people uh, in chat asking uh, where the uh, super chats uh, go to. Uh, it says, do super chats go to donations or to you personally? Uh, so that's from Lewis and Sam also wanted to know. Um, so basically, the um, any donations uh, from uh, from super chats uh, will go to the business account because as they legally be... must because we yeah, have to we pay have tax. To be the business must pay tax on it. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just I I was saying the thing and then you interrupted me and now I don't know if I. I'm going to start talking and you're going to immediately interrupt me again, are you? No. That's, okay. That wouldn't be funny at all if I was to do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. The Zeus is about to win. Zeus is about to just walk into this. No. No, he won! Holy shit! Zeus was j Zeus was in the process of war. Of just stro- <coughs> Glad I hope I can't talk. Can't talk. Oh no, that's so sad. Part of the joke of me dying is you're supposed to jump straight in. Damn it, Claire, you missed the cue. <laughs> it's not funny. I have actually died, by the way. <coughs> yeah, okay, it's not funny. And by the way, we're down to one mod in chat and he has to sleep. Oh no. Oh yeah, Artemis. That's true. We unlocked Artemis. I forgot about it. Okay. So anyway... I don't remember what I was saying because I've been working for eight and a half hours straight um, and I'm tired. Uh, shout out to Alana who gave us five uh, pounds and says uh, stressful day from all caps things. Uh, <laughs> yay for Tabby. Uh, also, it's been a year since I came out as non-binary. I've received only love. This is a wonderful community that you both lead. Holy shit, Artemis just destroyed Zeus's times five. That is hardcore counter. And congratulations on coming out of Dan Binary on this is on this your anniversary. Good. Let's assume I'm not paying attention. I'm always paying attention. I mean, sometimes you're not paying attention. Aside from the times I'm not paying attention, yes. I mean, look, the thing is, like, for me, you know... Plenty of times in, in life, he's just, like, thinking about it. People don't know whether or not you're paying attention. If it's an important thing like that, we want to make sure that they know. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, 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 uh. Next, we have Sean, who gave us $5 uh, and so have been somewhat quiet on the channel. Uh, but you've both given me about five years of incredible entertainment, light and joy. Thank you both. Oh, that's lovely. We've got so many lovely comments today. Uh, Kai and James both donated for uh, our art fund. Uh, Kai gave us £10 and says, Fancy Tabby Art Fund! Uh, and James gave us $2 and says, Towards your next super yacht bathroom art. Uh, 
Excellent. We don't we don't have a plan for bathroom art at the moment. We probably should do. That sounds excellent. Mm. Oh, I was wondering if I should. Um, yeah, I, I got I got a cute um, I got a cute like um, abstracty blue gold thing. That's like it, it's super pretty. But I was thinking. I mean, I don't know. I need to kind of have a check about like whether it would be appropriate in terms of like humidity and stuff. But I was thinking that might go in the in the upstairs bathroom. Ooh. Because it's got that blue tile, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. The return of Sick Phil and the Space Monkeys uh, gave us five dollars. What the shit is going on here, precisely? Oh, is the game suddenly doing more things? Well, I've, uh, I've gone down to the secret chamber. Okay. Which is... Do I have to just look at this? Okay. Oh. Oh! This is... I've, I've gone to a different... Boot... What the shit are these guys? Okay, they appear to be casting, I think, in, in, in vulnerable shields on on all of this. So this is this is fascinating, and also I'm I'm going to be surrounded. So this is well, this is all very peculiar. Uh, okay, go for mass candle head build because that tends to work pretty well. Go 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 go. Absolutely slaughtered. Uh, okay. Yeah, problem is impenetrable shields. Need to come up with a solution to the impenetrable shield situation. We need 2,700. Okay, uh, I think I've... Uh, this is this this is all fascinating. I mean, technically I could have a Reaper. I could have one Reaper who can stab multiple things at once. Back him up with... I can afford one healer just to try and keep him alive. And then he can just take out all of the... Yeah, he can just take out all of these lads. He can just stab all of the supporty lads. And then if he can just take out... I'll tell you what, I think he's doing pretty well so far. I think the Reaper's doing a... Well, that was... That was nice. Okay, so evil just... Okay, so I'm just in the secret... The secret heaven world right now. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Um... The return of Sick Phil and the Space monkeys. monkeys gave us $5. Uh, and says, did someone say space? John, any chance you don't murder the Space Monkeys in Mass Effect this time? And, uh, I will always murder the Space Monkeys because they're hilarious to murder. Mm -hmm. Sorry. there's that that That's just the breaks. Uh, yes, and then the uh, Department of Redundancy Department gave us two Swiss francs and says eight days until the election to become Speaker. Ooh. Ooh. Exciting stuff right over there. Indeed, indeed. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we got a message from Crisps who uh, gave us £10 and is also a patron. Uh, it says, hey guys, I hope you're all right. Um, if you remember me from Patreon Cast, I said in February that I was uh, moving, and then I moved in March. I'm settled in now, uh, but my uncle's cat passed at 16 last week. Oh no. So hopefully, I am looking at adopting soon. I just hope that it gets along with my bunny. Oh, that is sad. Well, I'm very sorry to hear uh, of your loss. I, I hope uh, you'll be able to uh, adopt soon, and then, uh, you know, if you're adopting from a shelter, they should be able to tell you, um, they should be able to tell you a little bit about the temperament of the cat. Yes. And then, hopefully, whether they think that it would be a good fit to uh, live with bunnies. I feel like Reaper, supported by Healer, is just the ultimate murder-everything machine. They, they just destroy... Never mind, hang on, they just died. Hang on, what killed them? What just killed them? What What are you guys? Are you guys artillery, the red lads at the back? Can you summon beams of light from the sky? Because what actually just killed you right there? And Oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Spellcasters. Hardcore spellcasters. Can't go in with small numbers of elite. Uh, because they will just destroy it. Need something to get round the back of them. Okay. One Reaper. So that leaves me another 2,500 
left left over. Maybe I could sneak round the back with, say, a knight and take care of them myself while I just desperately try and send forward, uh, yeah, just some units to provide a little bit of cover and to eat some of those shots. Meanwhile, over at this side, I'm going to go for, yeah, a medieval... I thought I was going for Jouster. Is that actually in Renaissance? Oh, uh, yeah, it's in Renaissance. Uh, go over to there. And then also just put maybe one... Yeah, maybe just uh, one sword caster over here. And then go over to here. And then you just get basically get over there and you just slam into that guy. And then immediately falls to his death. Well done, you daft bastard. Uh, I'm assuming things aren't going so well over here either. Your job was to, to, to survive and now... Yeah, okay. The sword caster's still alive, but sooner or later... Wow. Okay, this is... I, I, I found the secret evil world, and that is not good. Okay, if I become the knight straight away, then uh, I can just basically go straight past this guy, and then just straight over to here, and then I can try and hit these guys if... Oh! I mean, the bare minimum, I suppose that buys a little bit of time, but how on earth do we deal with... Okay, they go down super fast. They've got no health. I just need to land a, a hit on them. If I can hit them, like, super long range, I can take them out. Okay, hang on. Now that gives me a plan. That gives me a plan. Because <clears throat> the sword guy was able to take them out in, like, one hit. So all I need to do is maybe... Yeah, long range. Uh, I think the best long range option is... Uh, flibbly jibbles. Uh, oh, no! Must your tears. That's what I meant. Yes? Uh, Ghost Raider points out that uh, the live stream started with you saying that, uh, oh, my computer may restart, but I told it to wait until tomorrow, and now it's tomorrow. Uh-oh. I'm sure it's all fine. <laughs> I'm sure that'll work out. I'm sure that won't be a problem. And, yeah, that just kills the Reaper. And the Musketeers are screwed. The Musketeers are doing, yeah, the, all these guys have shields. And you guys have a huge amount of strength. You guys, that that guy's just got too many shields. Get, no, don't, don't die. Just get swords on them. Sword them all. Go, musketeers, go. Shoot them. Shoot them with guns. There's, there's guys over here. Oh, you, you've just been hammer of faith. Uh, the reaper goes down so fast. Uh, maybe the reaper's not the best bet right now. Because there's just too many. Maybe we just go in with pure straight up. Sawcaster, supported by as many healers as I can just get away with. And I just say, yeah, you know what? Sawcasters. Because Sawcasters just do a crazy amount of damage. And then the amount of damage they can do is go, go, go. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Can they can they break the shields, though? Yes, they can break the shields. Okay, enough firepower will take care of the shields. But Oh, wow. Okay, then all of them are dead. And then you're all about to die, too. Yeah, it's, it's like tagging them. It's that's what it is. It's like a tag, and then they get hit by a sun spray soon afterwards. So what I need to do is go for a mass chaff army where it doesn't matter so much if that happens. I could draw way at the back. What's the best mass chaff units? I'm gonna be honest. It's straight. It is straight up halflings. Okay, we're going for mass halflings. We're going for a mass halfling strategy. This is this is gonna work. It it's it's just Bilbo and Frodo all across the sky. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Go, halflings. Go, halflings. Go! Get on them! Knock them off. There we go. Straight through there. And yeah, there's fire coming in. But that that the fire takes out their own units as well. The problem is they cluster around these units. But then that kills them. But then you're over here as well. Over on this side. This is this is sort of You're dead. Then you're trying to get around over here. That guy's not dead yet. The halflings are, are kind of... Yeah, they get clustered around the heavily armoured units. I need something to clear out the heavily armoured units. Then, at that point, this might work. But they, uh, they just they just can't get through here. They, they can't get through these lads. And now the sun is about to strike them. Okay, I need a front line. I need a front line that can penetrate all of those lads. Then, I need a whole bunch of... I think I can do this. Clap! 
Uh, yes, let me see. Uh, I believe we are caught up. So if, um... Are you? Wow, okay, I'm impressed. Yeah. Well done. I'm used to you interrupting me all the time. Uh-huh. Wow, rude. <laughs> but accurate, though. One Reaper to clear out all of these bastards, because he can just go zappy, zappy, zap. Uh, yeah, you're just eaten now. Just takes them out the way, and then takes out these lads nice and fast. Before, yeah, he takes them, he takes most of them out, and then the Hobbits can get in. If he could have just taken out this lad as well, before that were to happen. Now, that guy's already dead. He must, he, I think he just fell off early on this occasion. Now they're just going to try and get in. No, they just, they just fall too quickly to these, these spell lads, and now you're going to put them over there. In comes the sun. But if we're lucky, one, one or two of you might make it through. Never mind, they're definitely... Go! Go, hobbits! Go! Jump! Do your big leap attack! Come on, leap attack, leap attack. Leap attack! Go! 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 Yes! Yes! Go, hobbits! Now they're taking out themselves. No! They tried to take out themselves. I've not lost yet. There's two hobbits over there. If they're just been... This can work. This can work. Get rid of some of the hobbits over here, because they're not contributing much. Get rid of the hobbits over here. Bring in a couple of them healers. Okay. With a tiny bit of healing support. If the Reaper can take out all the frontliners, except the guys at the side, then it's possible. It is possible. Alright, I just, just want to win this one. I just want to win this one. Do you want to... Okay, everything's, everything's fine. 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 Uh, wait, you're in... No, you're in... Farmer, wheelbarrow. No, you're not. Where are you? Healer! That's that's not a healer. Two of them. Okay, go. 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 So you're just going to eat all of these guys, and then in comes the attacks. All dead, all dead, all dead. And now take out him. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Did you take out that guy? Yes, he took him out. Uh so now there's yeah, there's now no one left. Now if the hobbits could just split up a little bit, which they're not going to do. Oh dear. There are some healers which hopefully might draw their attention, but no, this is... I need something. Maybe I need a second wave at the back. Who come in after the after the Reapers cleared that. And they're coming in at speed. Rather than the Hobbits. The Hobbits could take care of some of them. Okay, get rid of, get rid of all this. Okay. The Reaper, with a tiny bit of support, should, under most circumstances, clear out all the front line. Yeah, right. we've got a couple of people saying uh, wheelbarrow rush. Uh, somebody says scarecrow is actually an interesting thought. Outrange them. Uh, Lone Ranger says, frankly, I'm interest impressed by the lack of phalanges. Phalanxes, even. Phalanxes, yeah. Yeah, does that's a different thing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Snake archers. Activate snake archers. So yeah, snake archers can just... You guys with three healing. I'm kind of hoping you're going to kill all of these. And then you. And then take you out. Before the hit, then takes him out too. Didn't take him out. In comes the snakes. And now my snake archers, I'm kind of hoping, will just be able to open fire and just keep these guys busy. Come on. Just lay, lay some snakes down on the on the majors. Get the snakes in. Fire the snakes. They're not on, not on them. You're just being picked apart. Just... Guys, just fire on the majors! Fire on the cocky majors! Go! Go! Snack! Ow! My face! And there's... What's left? There's... No, he hasn't... They haven't even taken out these guards. Somebody needs to take out these guards, which is a problem. Which, actually, weirdly, the hobbits can do. Weirdly, the hobbits can do. Uh, okay. What if? What if I was to put a berserker on each side? Berserkers! Berserkers just teleport forward. Okay, second wave of berserkers at the rear. By the time they get to the front, then, yeah, huge wave of berserkers. So, the reaper comes in. The reaper clears out all of this. These, the berserkers just come and they can do huge amounts of damage over there. That distracts these guys like crazy. So the Reaper's not actually busy because they were being pulled over to the Reaper. Okay, so now you guys are now not in good shape. But now the second tier of Berserkers is here and now takes him out. Okay, now the Berserkers just need to... Okay, do a dive. Dive out the way. Dive out the way of the, the solar beam. No! Why aren't you attacking the Majors, you daft bastard? Just attack the Majors! 
Your one job was... Useless bastards. Okay, the problem was... Okay, maybe two less over there. Two more over here. Because I need them to actually take them out. So they just come over here. And can two... Yeah, they, they immediately activate their ability. But two of them should hopefully win that. And then the Reaper does a huge job over here. The Reaper can take out all of these... And then, if we're lucky, the Reaper might be able to... The Reaper's still active. Oh, the Reaper's got one of the Majors! The Reaper actually took out a Mage! Oh, that's huge. That's actually huge. So now, you guys need to go down. There's now only two Majors. The amount of DPS is like 33% lower than it was. That guy is already dead. In fact, you're just chilling out right there for no well-explained reason. Come on, guys. No, do the jump! Do the cocky jump! Get over there. Get him. Get him. Come on, just hit him. Hit him with an axe. Hit him with an axe. We win! Yes! We're hitting things with an axe, which is my favourite way of winning. The things. berserkers did the job. The berserkers did the job. Holy shit! Oh, this is this is this cool, is the that's stuff. That's really exciting. That's the shit right there. And now see. that now there are not majors anymore, so I think actually on this occasion now I can just double reaper. I think double reaper with a giant pile of uh, healers behind them can just straight up can just power through this. I think it's just, it's just eat, 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 eat. Nom, 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 hey, nom, 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 yes. You know earlier when you said, oh, I just want to win this one. Yeah. I did want to win this one. I want to win this one too. Come on, come on. Wait, isn't it the same one? Uh, yes, that's true. Absolutely it is. Come on, Reapers. Come on, Reapers. Come on, Reapers. The elef one elephant's dead. Just, just Easy. When there's not the mages, the reaper can just walk through it. The, re the, re the reaper, the reaper have got the reaper. Nothing can stop the reaper. Nothing can stop the reaper. All glory to the reaper. Backed up by so much healing, there's nothing they can do. Clap. Um, finally, good game. You win now. Sleep. Oh God, there's more. John, stop. <laughs> You're just saying that's what it says. Look it. Okay, I agree. It, it's not saying that. Okay. I believe there is also... Lilac Creeper says, free us, John. Let us sleep. Oh, okay. How do we get back to this, by the way? Ghost should... Raider... Uh... Is this now a thing I can access in, like, the campaign? Yeah, Fantasy Good. The good campaign. So I've unlocked... Okay, there was... It turns out there's another three pages of that campaign. It's not Little... just a... Okay, Little Blue foggy. Caboose, yep. Yep. Chitara, okay. and Ghost Raider all said, hashtag let Claire sleep 2021. Maybe in 2022. Okay, it turns out there's like three pages. I thought that was like, you know. John, I don't want to sleep in 2022. In 2022, I want to be vaccinated and go hug people. Uh, we have to sleep as well as hug people. We have to do both. It's, it, life is a balance between hugging people and sleeping. Sometimes they keep sleeping, you know, hugging people while sleeping, like with Tabby. Oh, I thought you were going to say like with you. Mm -hmm. And Tabby. And Tabby. And Tabby. Who's very fun to hug while she's asleep. Because she well, sounds like she's like, farting she all the time. Tabby doesn't really like, you know, she, she, she's not really, she's not a lap cat, you know? Yes, she is not. She is very, very specific in how she likes to, to, to do things. And what she does is that she waits until I'm in bed and I've got my weighted blanket over top of me. Yeah. And she, like, gets... Right, she, she she gets like right on my chest, like she's she sleeps like from the tummy to the top of the chest. She likes having like, a little sleep there. Her yes. paws really like really close to me, and like she's just her head so big and so close, mm -hmm. and is nice. She is a good girl. So yes, that is that is totally accurate battle simulator. <laughs> Such a dumb game. I, I I like that there's I like that there's like little secret units you unlock by exploring the levels. That's really cool. I didn't even know that till this live stream. Completely missed that. So that's really cool. The Artemis seems to be a really damn good sniper for nailing the big heavy units for like you know for taking out Zeus's and uh, Yals and whatever. The Artemis is a really solid pick. So that's a really damn fun unit. Uh, right there. So that's no. That's really really fun. I like this. This is a fun dumb game. Uh, it's, it's, it's a damn good time. So, uh, okay. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a live stream again. It will be back to Civ 6. We may well wrap up the, um, Civilization 6, uh, no production run. 
uh, next week if we can. Uh, we'll be starting a bit early. We started a bit late due to various manic stuff uh, tonight, but uh, we'll be uh, wrapping uh, up the Civ 6 and we'll be starting at a more reasonable time uh, next week as well. Uh, Resident Evil 8 is a series that will be every Tuesday uh, finale of Rome to the War Remastered on Friday to go straight into uh, Mass Effect uh, Legendary, hopefully starting on Saturday if I can. Uh, by the sounds of it, like, there might not be review code anyone's getting, so I might not get it till you get it, so in which case it might be a bit of a tight turnaround to get it done, uh, in, uh, in, uh, flipping, uh, for Saturday, so we'll have to see. Uh, we'll okay, so Shoggy seldom, uh, gave us five dollars and says, you promised! What did I promise? I forget what I promised. To watch the, the, um, finished version of the video, you know? Where, like, if we watch it, but we don't put it on the stream, uh -huh. it'll just be, like, your voice, and then we can react to it? Yes. Okay. We that, said we would do that. That 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 vaguely makes sense, yes. Uh, and also, uh, and also, do 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 um... Elana says, whoa, Tabby snores. I love her even more. She does. Kitty cat snores are so cute. She snores, but like specifically she does a snore that sounds like she's trying to like, um, she does a snore that sounds like she's trying to hide the fact that she's farting. Yes, it does sound like that. It does. So, like, the other day, for instance, I was trying to, like, explain a thing to John about, like, um, about, like, uh, just, like, a, a repair. Sorry, I meant, like, I can't make sentences anymore. I was just trying to explain a DIY thing to John, but then Tabby was snow farting at the same time from her little box. Yes. And it was just, like really really uh it was undermining my seriousity as slightly yes a diy slightly person. yes anyway hey you want to see some cute uh cats and I dogs i do want to see some cute cats and dogs as you share them with we the chat as well have annie and leo i'm going to share them with the chat classics annie and leo always They're cute beautiful. and then uh he, 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 here's a cat being a cat jockey. Uh-huh. Uh, and then uh, here's uh, Caddy and Sultan. Looking very cute. Uh, they are in India where it's very, very hot. And oh. Caddy is teaching his little brother how to sploot. Is yep. the word that was used in the coolest spot on tile. Excellent, uh, excellent. So lots of sploot. Excellent sploot. And more, more of it. Oh, it's just it's a very hot face. Very hot dogs. Uh, and then dead butt examination. <laughs> dead butt examination, because dogs be dogs. Yeah. Um. So anyway, um, if you want to do uh, put could on you this thing DM so we can me, react, DM me the link. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. And then I have also it on share my... it with the chat, and then we'll do a countdown. Yes, that's what to I thought. Opening it. Yes. That will. This is this is slightly unusual live stream entertainment, but this is I I've I believe I this is a version I have already seen. I think I've seen both versions of this already. And they're excellent. Uh, so this is this Just is. Just bear with me a second. Yes. Mm. Okay. See, the thing is, I wasn't so worried about the stream going late until you said that the video of tomorrow is going to be bloody feature length. <laughs> Uh -huh. So that means I can't really see No, no, not the video it. for tomorrow. Video for Friday. Yeah, but I'm editing wrong. it tomorrow. Yes. I, we don't want it to go into the same day. Yes. Yes, that, that that is true. Tomorrow's video we legally can't talk about. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, I've... Oh, you've got the thing? You've yes, got I've got it. that. Yeah. I've got that. I've got that. Okay. So if you want to share that with, 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 with the chat, there's about to be a thing, which is very good. Uh, there's about to be... Oh, we do the countdown. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just count down. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just count down. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't matter, like, yes. for the thing. So there's a video. So you're going you're gonna to open that, but you're not... You're gonna, and then you're going to pause it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna press... Blah, 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 blah. Press play at the end of a countdown. 
All right, so Claire's just going to spam that a couple of times. This is good to be our... I'm sorry, like, it's it's just, it would be risky to put Lord of the Rings, like, like visuals on the channel. It, there would be a risk to that. Uh, so we're not going to, we're going to not, uh, we're going to not do that, unfortunately. So, okay, Claire's uh, has shared that. Excellent. So line that up. It's not a Rick roll. It's actually very good. And then we're going to be starting that, okay? Thank you, Tim, for five Australian dollars. Thank you, Tim. In five, four, three, two, one. That's a beautiful timing. That's the that, that's a beautiful timing. Oh. Screw you, Faramir. Wow. <laughs> love the fake end card. Oh, I love the fake end card. That's fake end beautiful. card. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost glitching. Oh, that's beautiful. Just, I love uh, the, the end card. Oh, oh, I do not like that bit. Yeah. And then that, that, that random aggressive tomato eating. That's not even necessary for me. That That's just that's just unnecessary aggressive tomato eating. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's... That is that is John Stewart of Gondor. It's 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 good stuff. There's some Thank very you. there's some lovely timing. There's some Thank lovely you so timing much, in that. Shoggy. That was beautifully there are some, done. There is some lovely there's some lovely timing in you, that. I need you to know, Shoggy, if you're still listening, that um yes, of course, because you just messaged us. A yes. Ago. Um, the first time that John showed me this. Yes, that was the first version. I the believe. first version. Yeah, that was the first. That was. The I first was just thing. like. Wow, isn't it amazing? People who make like fan vids yeah. that they like remember exactly what happens in the film so that they can like place it and blah blah blah. And like, it took me a minute to remember that video editing is a thing that like I do for a yes, living and you can do. It is. And that it wasn't actually like the way the movie goes because the cuts were really bloody good. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway. Yes. The the, the 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 sinking up is is, is excellent. It it's unfortunate because like you don't have the problem that. is you don't have that much material to work with. So some shots you have to reuse just because there's only I'm so sorry, much footage. There is in fact quite a bit of material to. I mean I know what you're saying, hmm. but also like no, it's there's very, a lot of Lord of the Rings, funny. but there's not that much material. I know it's of, not using all, yes. all of the you know I know, but yeah. it is it is a bit funny <laughs> that that comment uh, digs to Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh dear. God. So there you go. That's 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 uh, that's that. Thank you for chaotic end to a chaotic stream. That's that's just perfect right there. So we're gonna go eat some uh, our dinner now. 10 to 1 in the morning. 
Oof. Poor yeah. Tiblet needs to have her dinner as well. Highly important. I mean, important. maybe she won't be as much of a brat in the morning. But I think yeah, it exactly. must be. I think because last night she ate a bit late as well. And this morning she was a brat. So I think it must be because of the sunlight. Uh, her, the, where the she is now is brighter than now, it was, yes. Because like, she comes to see us before bed, but she doesn't stay in the room uh overnight mm -hmm. um she she likes to go back and forth between different places and um the room she sleeps in now because of like the orientation of things it gets a lot more sun than like previously yeah. she gets up a lot earlier and then she like meows like yes. like a drama llama cat she is a drama llama and she always wakes me up she doesn't wake you up but she always wakes me up yeah you're a light sleeper yeah definitely mm. Oh so, dear. Anyway, <laughs> I we, have to try and ignore her so that oh, so she just so she doesn't stop. so she learns that she doesn't get attention if she's a brat in the morning. Yes, precisely. I mean, she gets attention when she's a brat literally every other point, but yes. like I need my sleep. Right. And I'm already bad enough. We're gonna go eat dinner now, ladies and gentlemen. Patron cast. Yes, patron ca patrons, uh, patron cast should hopefully be coming later tonight. Actually, the stream is overrun, but it should, <laughs> should be coming uh, later tonight. So if you're, I know that's no use to you if you're in Europe. If you're in America, that might be of use to you. Uh, so hopefully, patron cast coming up, uh, like you know, in an hour or something. Uh, we just need to check we've got everything in play for it. But yes, Patreon cast coming up very, very soon indeed for the Americans in the room. So another hour, hours of John coming up very, very soon indeed. In Sweet case you them. haven't had enough for some bloody reason. So look forward to that if that's what you choose to do. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. The I'm a true, true nerd. This has been us going to dinner at the end of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and also Aggressive Tomato Eating Simulator. Thank you very much. And have fun. Have fun.